Welcome back, guys, to another Art of War stream game. This time it is round two of the RTT. RTT. We've got a really interesting one. We have Grey Knights up against the Heretic Astartes, World Eaters, Word Bearers, pure aggro, pure Mark Perry. Yep. It's happening. Yep. It's Get. on the table. Somehow did the Raptors got paired up against Paladins. I don't know how. But these pal Raptors are not killed, or what would you say, built to kill Paladins right now. So it's kind of sad. They're not built to kill. You don't think you can I don't have a 15-man unit. I know, 7th edition. I've considered it. I just haven't got around edition? to it. Safe edition, sorry, yeah. <laughs> so many editions. <laughs> Mark's so much time detail. lost. But, uh, kind of years trade. We are playing uh, mission number 33, priority yep. targets. Um, so once we get to the overhead, we'll show you how we changed um, those objective markers. Mm -hmm. But overall, um, if you want to just run through your secondaries, Mark. So I took domination because my list is pretty aggressive. I holding three objectives is, is really easily. Is it aggressive? I don't know, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. I roll a dice every time to see what my strategy is. Um, so I took that. I took Scramblers because I have a little Dark Disciples and some Burk Berserkers and Outflank. And you're a pretty small army. It's hard for you to consistently screen those small little units. Pretty elite army. Um, and I took the Mission 1 because like it's pretty easy to get that one maxed out because it's just hold the objective and get free points. Yep. Cool. I took my one over there. Uh, over in that far L, and uh, that's my secondary. So, yeah. so I went with the same exact one, priority targets. Once again, it's one of those easier it's, mission secondaries. Yeah. It might be the easiest, honestly. And then I also went for bring it down. Mark has quite a few vehicles, and they're aggressive vehicles. If he's hiding them in his deployment zone, A-OK -okay with me. Yep. And then I went with um, while we stand, we fight, because I have some pretty expensive characters, and they're going to kind of be in my main castle for quite yeah. a while. So. Uh, you know, I'm playing the more defensive endgame style, yep. but we'll see how those uh, two styles interact. Now, um, we are brought to you by uh, several wonderful sponsors. We have Warpfire Minis, a wonderful store in Cala, Florida. They have a great trade-in program, so if you have any old minis, you can trade them in, whether they're painted, new in box, on sprue, uh, poorly painted, you know, beautifully painted. Um, trade them in and get new in box product, 50% off. We all love the meme. We all have old models that we should trade in that we haven't done it yet. All right, the next sponsor we got is Big Bear 3D. We got, you know, like if you want competitive aesthetic terrain, that can be, you can get a commission painted for our good friend Huck that makes it a great looking, you see the stuff. Yeah. Check out Big Bear 3D. He's got my board on the way. Lynn's working on his, we got Siegler, we got a Nick. We also have, he has a, uh, the Age of Sigmar champion board on there too. Yeah, William Frederick. Yep. He, he had won Nova and LVO. Yep, um, last same year that you did too. Yeah, both mm. from Florida. Both from something Florida. in the water. Something in the water. Not good. <laughs> um, We've also got Table War, who create these beautiful and neoprene fat mats. And these yep. are the original mats. So if you want just super high quality mats, you can get it in the new size, 60 mm -hmm. by 44. Uh, they are up for pre-order right now on their website. Yep. Exclamation point sponsors in the chat to get those links. We also have 3D6 Wargaming. They create this awesome battle border. So if you don't want to cut up your mats, you don't want to buy any of the new ones because you have a whole fleet of the old ones, yep. you can go ahead and get a battle border for yourself, customize it, get your own sponsors on there, get your own images, rules, um, faction rules you could even have. Mark can mm -hmm. have all his world eaters yep. uh, rules out there. So customize it however you want. And they also create these neoprene objectives. So mm -hmm. no little, you know, miss, you know, if you the touch objective it, you gets know bumped. You did. Yep. There's no mystery with these objectives, so. And they're nice big and flat. They're actually kind of hard to move. So it's not like you actually like tap it and the objective goes to the side. No, it just, it stays really well where it is. Absolutely. Um, and then we have? We have the Obey Alliance, the esports team that kind of helped us start this all off. And they're just trying to tap, you know, just trying to see how 40K goes into the next stage of becoming an esport and can it can become more mainstream and uh anything that we're doing to help out just like supporting them but all of us work together we support them y'all support us and all this is coming together us as a community pushing 40k to the next level yep and if you want to follow them check out meta initiative on twitter yeah um, they're, they're running all sorts of rpg games mm -hmm. and role-playing stuff so expanding into the tabletop yep. world they're going to be looking at other tabletop games as well so yep. check them out now uh, let's go on over to that overhead and let's talk about deployments All right, Mark, you want to run through this aggressive World Eaters deployment here? So what happens is I put two Rhinos up forward with five Berserkers, five Berserkers, five Possessed, and five Possessed. One Raptor unit that has the pregame move, one that does not. My three characters right here, two little Dark Disciples, the Disco Lord, Dreadclaw with 10 Berserkers, two Fives. Over there, I got 10 Cultists, a Heldrick, and five Berserkers. Off board, I have two little Dark Disciples, an Outflank, and five Berserkers. That's it. 
on the other hand, I have five strike marines in reserve. On this side, this is my main force near my priority objective. I've got the two rhinos guarding my army up front, the 10 paladins, I've got five terminators around the side, five uh, purgation squad, and then I also have a whole bunch of characters, Lord Kaldor, Draco, I've got the Ancient, and I've got Double Chaplain right there. And then on the far side, another purgation squad, as well as five Terminators, ready to hold on to that objective as soon as I get my turn. Yep. So fair, once again, like Mark said, it's a super elite army. Don't have a lot of bodies, but I have good mobility tricks. I have quite a bit of firepower in those Paladins. So we will see how it goes. Now, uh, how you feeling here, Mark? Feel pretty good. If you go first or second, I feel like I'm flexible in both. Yeah, I think he deployed, you know, very, very nicely. He used the stratagem on those Raptors, so spent one CP. He can move them up to nine pregame. Yep. So if he ends up going second, there's Just no way I'm getting uh, push him back. getting shots on them. Basically, my only targets would be the Rhinos, which isn't really ideal uh, because they're two of his toughest targets. Yep. I really would have wanted to get at the Dreadclaw or the Disco or even the Helldrake. Yep. But uh, Mark has deployed just enough back that even if I get that plus six inch range off. Kind of passively aggressive, like I'm still in the front lines, but I'm just far enough back that I'm a lot safer. Yeah, but you're not mono-dimensional here. You can no. play two different ways. Exactly. All right. All right. Let's go. One, two, one. Ah! Get to the side. So do I want to go first? What does first give me? It really just gives me the chance to grab these objectives. Mm -hmm. Um, I really think in this case, I want you to go first. No, 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 no. You no. go first, Mark. No, what are you saying? <laughs> I think I want you to grab, like, get close on those Terminators there. Yeah, you do. I can go fight you off of that. Be a little closer to me. Let me do some measurements. Do some little pre-measuring. So, 24 inches from these positions. I'm going to put a die out there for you. Right there. So, if, if he's touching anything on this objective, and if he just walks three inches, he's on the edge of it. Just on the edge. Looks like it's a seven inch charge if you touch the objective. Because on the other side of it, little under eight. Eight. So cool. that's a pretty good charge there. If we're asked there, also that puts that Heldrix a lot closer. And they're no longer in that dense terrain for defensible too. Yep. Um, do I have to worry about the firepower here? Yes. But if he redeploys anything to get some extra angles, he puts himself right in front of my army. There's so much killy here that if he puts anything close, uh, it doesn't matter what he kills because I have so much more. Um, so. I think we're just gonna let you take that first turn. That is surprising, but I think Mark deployed in such a way that this isn't um, too bad of a choice. Um, normally, you're using that pregame move to play super aggressively, but here, you don't really need it. You know it's only the Rhinos yep. uh, that are gonna be doing really the only thing that I can target, um, because you, I could potentially target this other Raptors unit. Yeah, you could, but not with all the dudes, probably. With the plus six inch range? Plus six inch range, but you, I gotta do my pregame move before you move the, do that. Yep, 100%. So. Just move those guys out. You know, what's, you're, you're good. I'm just trying to math out. What's your max range? What's it? 30 35. Plus 35. You're so good. I can get it. Yep. yep. Just shuffling over here. Now, if I do get the six inch range off, I could potentially go after those, uh, that other Raptors unit, but that means I'm coming a lot closer. Yep. Um, you're pushing that range out a little bit. Yep. All right. It's all good, Mark? All good. All right. Uh, so first litany is going to be the plus six inch range. Goes off. Got it. Extra AP. Fails. Doesn't go off. All right. So plus six inch range is, of course, on the Paladins. Paladins. Right. Almost every single time, unless you specifically stay it out there, it's going to be on the Paladins. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, so let's do a little bit of pre-measuring because this is what you need to do at, at top level play. Otherwise, you will get punished pretty hard. Yeah, you go with the 12 CP? I do indeed. Okay. Now, uh, we've got Possessed and Berserkers in here. Possessed move seven. Yep. Um, you do not have an advance and charge mechanic for them, correct? Nope. So only potentially a warp time for 14 inches. Plus getting out of the Rhino is free, so yep. 17. And then we'll move it back there. All right, so right now, so if I move up, he'll probably have a six or seven inch charge. I'm gonna just have to accept that, but just try and force it into the Rhinos or this five man Terminator squad, which is trying to uh, protect my Paladins. Really, I just need to keep these Paladins alive for as long as possible in this game, is, uh, is the plan here. So let's go ahead and move. I'm probably going to move up the Rhinos. Now, there's no reason to even touch this, honestly. You just give me free charges. I'll just give you free charges with a lot of stuff. 
So I'm instead just going to move, just shuffle these rhinos up. Not the full distance, but just enough that I'm going to have range to these guys. Good. Okay. With that 30 inch range. Yeah, plus six. Um, there's no sense because Mark is going to be slightly out if I move up any closer. I won't be able to hit that other Raptors unit. So it's really just these three targets. And I don't want to get close so that he hits me with four or five units. Yep. Um, also, this Disco Lord advances and charges, but um, luckily I'm going to have this Rhino screen. Mark doesn't have great tools for killing Rhinos. Um, this one's going to move up like that. Just create this little V formation. And then the Paladins are going to move behind that. Five inches on up. So I'm gonna be just out of 24 that first right now. Okay. You wanna know, you wanna tell the chat why? Really, re the reason why you're trying to stay out of that range is for my potential foot range. Like I go out, what happens is I have a negate spell and he doesn't want that negate spell to happen off on like Astral Aim or something like that. <laughs> so if Astral Aim goes off, like does not go off, his plan to, for this turn is practically just like, well, I move, fast turn. <laughs> it's called, it'll feel really bad. So just stay outside of that deny range and that's the closest unit. Yep. Um, Bring those guys up, and then we'll go ahead and scoot some of the characters up. Off the carry, you can go ahead and advance. Eat. Mm -mm. Which side are you starting off in? I'm starting off in the shooting tide. Actually, cool. Another thing that I don't want Mark to deny <laughs> with that stratagem. There's no real risk of, obviously he's going to be outside of the smite range, so no reason to do that. Um, these guys, you just move advance. Okay. okay. Quick question for Mark while Siegler's moving. Why so many small berserker squads? Mostly because I'm an object bully and have lots of ways to sneak on someone's objective and take it away from them. And that's mostly the reason why. Uh, just for me to snake that stuff away. For me to steal objectives. Um, and not like I lose like five or ten. Like if I lose five berserkers, that's only 90 points. If I lose more than that, if I have more of those bigger squads, coherency becomes a problem and it's more invested. I want to be more places uh, across the board. And sometimes like the best way is just to torpedo five berserkers and let that be your play. I don't want to do anything else. Sometimes happens. Losing lots, of, you losing big berserker squads feels bad. Losing five, that's fine. All right, this guy's going to be here, blocking off this angle over here, and then um, they're going to be strung around the objective. Okay. Is that the troop squad? Yes, that's the troop squad. Noted. These guys, I put them in the forest, so they're minus two, but I put them exactly yep. three inches away. So seven inch charge to get there. Yep. One guy's just going to touch there. Everybody else is going to be. So he's still touching the forest. Okay. Now, Mark does have a bunch of flamers, so not a huge deal. I'll just put them inside there. Right. And then I have this squad back here, but essentially I want to keep them outside of the threat range of that okay. Heldrake. So it's, they're just outside there, so I'm going to go ahead and keep them safe there. All right. That's all good. We'll go with Psychic. Okay. We will do, um, we'll try and gain a command point. Yep. Let's do the cast. Perils? Perils. Take D3. Takes one. Oh. <laughs> that could've been cool if it was. It was free. So you go to 12, 13 CP. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then we are going to go with... <laughs> could go... So I don't need too many of the powers this turn, honestly. Um, but might as well just go for the minus one to wound. Yep. And let's see, the threat range of these raptors. Yeah, so this is less than 24, so he'll have to use. Oh, I gotta do my chance. Real Mark fast. has to do his chance. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is give this raptor unit plus one of wound. Goes off, and we're just gonna do the five of him. Good. 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 So we got them both. Yep. And who are they on? Oh, uh, five of Imbolm here plus one of wound goes here. Into the squad I can't. Squad can't, you cannot shoot. 100%. Um, 
All right. Um, so minus one to move and off. Yep. Um, these guys. And then we'll go with uh, Sanctuary. Yep. Also goes up. Okay. And that's on the Pallies? Yes, sir. Gotcha, gotcha. Just make them as durable as possible. Uh, we'll do Astrolame. Okay. Goes off. Astrolame goes off. Um, do I need too many of the other powers? Could shoot in the Psychic phase here. Um, and then move around, which isn't too bad of an idea. Just get that extra movement here. Um, Cause I got everything buffed up. Let's see what other powers. I have Sanctuary off. Drago doesn't need to cast anymore. Don't need Gate of Infinity just yet because Mark is in such a defensive position. If he took first turn and played very aggressive, I could have potentially done a gate play here with one of the Purigation squads. Yep. Just start picking off what he has. Um, don't need Warp Shaping. So we'll just do the uh, Shoot in the Psychic. Shoot in the Psychic. Plus one goes Plus off. Plus one goes off. All right. So we're going to shoot the Paladins. Yep. Now, splitting fire here is risky because I won't have any of those rerolled to wound. I won't be able to use the reroll wound strat against vehicles. So, do I just go for one rhino or do I try and kill two? Do I try and get a little so greedy? This on is this the raptor base. Okay. So, so, how many dudes can get range? All but two. All but two? Okay. Yep. These eight guys, the two guys back here cannot. Roger. So, for sure, we're going to put all the silencers. There's no difference between these. Or side cannons? Side cannons, yeah. Yep. Um, no difference between these two vehicles? Nope. So we'll go into here. Okay. Because they both have the five up invul. Yep. And we will put, go ahead and put the two back storm bolters here. So that's okay. six of the models. I have four left. The other four will go into the Raptors. Roger. All right. I'm going to spend two command points for Cybolt ammo. Mm hmm On two. And I could potentially use the strat for um, the Psy Cannons if I wanted. That would essentially, the plus one strength doesn't matter there because I'm, I'm gonna be strength eight in the Psychic Tide. What it would matter for is um, that extra AP. But if I don't kill the Rhino, it's not a, big deal, it, it's yeah. not a huge deal. Um, would like to have that extra AP, but not huge. So we'll go with the Storm Bolters first. Yep. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna spend another CP as well for the plus one to hit on my Terminator unit. Okay. Here for those heavy weapons are hitting off freeze. Yes, sir. Rerolling from Draco. Yep. All right, so here come the guys, the Storm Bolters that are going into our friends, the Raptors. Good mark. No yeah. defensive strats here? Uh, no defensive strats, though. No. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I don't really get them. <laughs> Twos, rerolling ones. You never know. Uh, wouldn't it be freeze rerolling ones because you're heavy weapon? Plus one. Oh, uh, this is this is storm bolters. Oh, storm bolters. Yep, storm bolters okay. and the raptors. There's gotcha. two storm bolters going into the rhino and the SI cannons. Okay. Good. Yep. Okay. One miss. You had four Those dudes. Ones, the ones who are up front. So, yeah. Okay. That should be like 16 shots. Yeah. I think that's more than 16 dudes. Oh yeah. I, I, I put two more. I'll do it again. Those two aren't. Yeah. Those are the two back guys. I just did all the storm bolters there. Here we go. We're re rolling. Okay, still same result. And then wounding on threes. Yep. Pull those away. And then AP on these are only what, one? AP one. Four ups. Losing three. Okay. This is on this unit. Yes, sir. Okay. We'll do side counts. Yep, yep. Two, three, and four. Three is re-rolling. Okay. <laughs> and freeze. Freeze again. All right, four is here. If I can grab all the dice. Nope, I got you, Mark. Well, well, fail free, take six damage. Okay. And then here's the two storm bolters that are going there. Yep. Re-rolling. Moving on fives. Yep. So you're gonna have four saves. Four saves. AP one. Yes, sir. So I'm allowed by one. <laughs> that's two damage each. Oh, and the storm bolter still. Oh yeah, because you did pop the side yep. bolt. So yeah, that's just gonna die. Let me see if it's gonna explode. No. Does anybody? Well, first you get to place the models and then see if anybody. Yep. Get the dice lined up for the number of dudes that are getting out. Ten. Then you don't have any more shooting for this turn. So what I gotta figure out here 
some possessed. Three inches. This guy's gonna be, they're on the bottom floor. I'm just putting them there for y'all can see them on the stream. Um. Yeah, that's much easier, Mark. Yeah. Go ahead and put them up top. Then I'm just thinking about, these guys at OPSEC, there's what, two OPSEC models here? Yes, sir. Okay. So, bop, 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 bop. <clears throat> Those dudes here. Then uh, we're gonna put five berserkers right next to them. Right around the front? Yep. Cool. And, and then grab one of my sergeants. Sergeant Mark, fingers crossed he doesn't roll any ones here. Certainly not on those uh, two wound possessed. Well, I can choose the models. Yep. So, berserkers are probably the ones that get lost here. I didn't lose any. All good. Okay. That's going to give you two points. I'll bring it down. Yes, sir. And that should be... Obviously, everything else is out of line of sight. Yep. So, um, we'll just... That was the end of this. Can't fail leadership here because I'm leadership nine because the dark... Technically, possible. it's still my psychic. Phase, That's so true. I'm going to finish moving the paladins. Yep. Because I used the Edict Imperator. And then I'm just going to close off this gap. So Roger, uh, Roger. Raptors can't jump around. Good. Yep. All right. So I'm going to do some measuring here. Seven inches. So to base to base with these Terminators is 19 inches. Should be 1.1 behind that wall. Yep. So it will come through. Oh, that's what kept me going, you know, on the yeah, side. Yeah, you're, you're good. Um, mm hmm I can do here. The Raptors are all good on the morale. Yeah, uh, they are leadership nine because they possible, so they only lost three. Can't pass awesome. them. All right. Tell me if you want me to put any uh, dice out for you. Yeah, I'm gonna go up the nine CP. You put in some scores real fast. Then I'm going up to nine CP. You're at ten. Yes, sir. Then bring it down. You got two points. Already targets at the end of your turn. You got three points. Then, so. not bad. Um, would have liked to kill a couple more of the raptors, but not having the extra AP, yep. um, I wasn't willing to. Uh... So what I want to see is if the uh, disco lord rolls a crazy advance roll. He did roll a crazy advance roll. Okay. Um, because this allows me to set up the rest of my turn minus two, so that's a 16, 17 inches. Because he has plus one. Yep. So you can go right there. I can easily set up a warp time to him. He's really will just pick up these two. Uh, two uh, going after the two rhinos, which are screens, and then he's the best thing for targeting for them. Um, but then really, I'm just letting him get ten points. So I want to really try to fight that. So I'm trying to sink here with the warp time play, of course. You said. Yes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just get that hold, uh, just get that domination point. We're gonna take these berserkers. Done. Oh, uh, and they got their. Big over here. They got that. Other thing to think about for Mark trading the disco here is um, the Early. smites could just pick him away. Yep. But um, also him being there moves blocks you a little bit. And mm -hmm. that's a that's a world leaders unit that's on the front line that you can't deal with. I could use my charge move though to get even farther. You could. Um something I'm just have to work around with. So we got that. Um So I gotta figure out what these possessed do. So the really the disco lord, I think he's just gonna can't buy um, and be happy where he's at. Just wait a turn. He's just gonna grab this objective. Okay. And be right there. Cool. Uh, still gonna... be in the forest? Yep. Still be in the forest. That minus one to hit is pretty handy. Um, to get. Alright, so let me go. Figure out what I'm gonna do next. We're gonna just go ahead and set this, this boy up. Go six inches. He can advance to. Next year, right there. He's just going to be behind the wall? Yep. More than an inch behind it? More than an inch behind it. Okay. Okay. It's not like I have a ton of fast melee here, though. No. Okay. Then we're going to take this Dread Claw, and we're going to advance it. It's going to go 20 inches, because it has plus one. So from center to center. It's an easy way to do this thing. We'll just put it right here, touching this objective. All right. Awesome. And what's inside of that? So we got... Ten berserkers. Ten berserkers. A lot well, of berserkers on that objective. Really, what I'm thinking if that goes there, I'm not going to do more about these guys. These guys should just step back here, character protect. That's okay. all they should do. No worries. Um, because I already had that. That's my domination. Should have led with that one first. 
if I destroy it, 10 Berserkers pop out. Yeah, and now. that's also opposite now on an objective and gets. Yep. Uh, and if you're putting dudes all the way up here in close combat, what happens is the rest of my army can jump on you. Yeah. Now, it's not a demon, correct? It's not a demon. Okay, so not too worried about taking those smites. Yep. All right, so we're going to take the Ever Dark Scythe or Apostle. Just go right here. The Terminator Sorcerer. It's going to... Wait a moment. I'm going to figure out what to do with this with this Raptor unit. That's only a four-man. I'm going to sink on that one. And what I'm going to do here is just move this Eldritch up. One of the reasons to wait with the Terminator Sorcerer is Mark knows where all my denies are coming from. Yep. So he's going to have to position where he's going, what he's going to warp time. Position the Terminator Sorcerer also outside my deny range. So it looks like in the range there. With the uh, Heldrake? Heldrake. Okay. We're all out of range there, but we can probably get range to that one if I go to a little bit more to the side. Um, I think it's not a bad idea. What he could also do is just go secure this objective and hold that one for now and be in a better position to jump on there. But I really want to take this away. This is five points and this is the weakest objective that Zeke holds. So, don't call my objectives weak, Mark. I'll call your objectives what I want. They oh. lift. So, boom. So he can't just touch the, so he won't be able to touch the objective with his maximum. Nope. But he only has a seven inch combined with the Raptors. So I'm trying to sink here. And then I go to the side. He has range to them. Uh, I don't really know if I want to shoot there. 18 inches. Right here. I can go a little bit more to the side. You go this okay. Side. Boom. So we're gonna what we're gonna do next. We're gonna take these berserk these raptors, and we're just gonna do a buddy system. They're gonna move back a little bit after I figure out how far how this uh this unit of swor the swisher is gonna do the warp time. So they need to stay back. Does need to see if he rolls a crazy good advance roll, I can go farther out with them, or if he doesn't. Um. But no advance in charge from there. You're basically counting on that warp time there. Yep. Let me just go ahead and finish up these cultists. Oh, uh, back here. Do, 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 do. They're going to advance. No reason not to. We. So they're just going to hold that objective from you. Yep. Inside the ruin, and you've also got five berserkers behind them. Yep. Okay. So I got you know several other units on it that make it kind of hard for you just to pick up. The Berserker units, I got one. Can they reach the objective as well? Nope. Okay. Your strikes come down here. Them dealing with both units is kind of awkward. I'm not going to worry about stringing out because he can come down three inches. Oh, uh, so it's just kind of hard for me to stop that. Yep. If he wants to be in a position, he's going to be in a position. Those four Raptors are going to advance. They got plus one to this. So they're going to go 16 inches. And all they're going to do is just go put a second unit on this objective. Okay. So now Mark is just... Uh tripling up, uh, doubling up on there. So no easy way to deny him points there. Strike yeah. Squad's not gonna pick all that up. <laughs> cool, man. If you're putting Ashtoyam over here, that's big stuff that you're not putting in other places. Yep. I would basically be ignoring what's in front of me, yeah. which is a lot of stuff. Okay. So what I'm gonna do next, let's take this Rhino. He's gonna end the pop and smoke this turn. Um. And he's going to probably just advance. So he'll be minus one to hit? Yep. So he's going to advance two. It's plus one to that. So that's six, 18 inches. It's more than enough to go right here. Um, Mark's really stopping me from trying to take him off primary points here. Yep. And of course, uh, there's two units inside, a possessed unit and a berserker unit. Yep. Okay. This Terminator Sorcerer is going to advance. Then, uh, that's, what is that? Math, yeah, that's eight inches. Boom. So what, now I know where the Raptors need to be. Yes. Because uh, he's not Thousand Suns, so doesn't get that plus six inch range on his cast, so it's Your only... Rhinos cannot deny for it? I, if I spend two CP, they can. They can? They yep. Do. They can negate, but they can, or they can deny. They can deny. They can deny. So I don't want that to really happen. It's a great question by Mark. Yep. So we're gonna go just a little bit. Right there. Can you make sure you're on a hole? Right there's the edge of his base. We'll go right there. Just outside. And uh, just outside. And I still have the possessed and these berserkers to shift around over here. Okay. Because basically he's worried about if he doesn't protect him with something. Yep. Then I could I will try and snipe his uh, warp exactly. time. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna move those units over there to protect him. 
And these berserkers are gonna go out there and do their do their fun stuff. They're right there. So raptor raptors. That one moves right there at three inches, and everyone else just moves. We gotta do a buddy system here. Okay. And let's take Disco Lord. Disco Lord. So we got possessed unit and uh, a berserker unit. Yep. Just kind of chilling out, waiting to move. So the possessed, do they want to go out farther and just grabs like I'm gonna probably put them on the subjective also, <laughs> uh, and string them out over here. Uh, the strike gods coming down and trying to kill a heavy bolter dude or with a dude in terminator armor is kind of hard. Uh, it's five wounds. You got if you side bolt ammunition them. Good. You'll be taking three ups. It'll be two. I need to get two wounds through. Yeah. So it's T5, yeah, yeah. It's T Unless you fail the power here and take a mortal, then I would need two, Mark. Yeah. How about that? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not wrong, John. Not wrong. All right. So we're gonna take these uh, dark disciples and just advance them. See what they do. So they're gonna grab this objective. They're gonna be right here enough to get their extra bubble there. Okay. And then we're gonna take these possessed. They're advancing with plus one, so that's nine. Right here. And right there. We're gonna take those berserkers and do the exact same thing. They got a lot better advance roll. So what happens is next turn, these guys will probably just jump in the transports. Um, so math is 11 inches. Do a little rate relay system there. Kevin. Plus one. Yeah. The Willow Tree, not banner. Yeah. Cool. All right. So that's there. Okay. And what we're gonna do next is cast those spells. First thing we're gonna do is warp time. Warp time goes off, and we're gonna do prescience. Prescience goes off. Just one thing, Mark. Yeah. If you're planning on deploying scramblers in deployment zone, just make sure one thing doesn't advance, okay? Yep. Oh, uh, that's true. No worries. Let me sink here. Half out. You know, what he doesn't do? have to do it this turn because he has. These guys will just move up. The Dark Disciples will just do it this turn because they're the ones, and then these guys will go over here and this, grab this objective. Okay, cool. So they're on there. Yep, so two dark dis disciples on there. Uh, two dark disciples just scrambled. Yep. This turn. That's true. I forgot about that part. No I declared they were going to do the one scrambling. Meh. Going for my saves. Check, 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 check. Okay. So going through all that, everything's been checked. Spell has been done. Then I got to do my warp time. And I move forward. And the only reason, guys, I didn't do, I did my pressings right after my warp time because it didn't matter, it didn't affect their movement. They're going the same place no matter what. And what's the charge looking like? They did. That's what the two spells did. Yeah. Immediately. What, what's the charge looking like there, Mark? It should be the same thing as it was earlier. I just need to roll seven. So, yep. With an eight, okay. over seven. Okay. All right. So we got that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some, uh, we pop a smoke here. We're gonna do some shooting on this Eldrick. I don't wanna kill any these Terminators. Uh, if he just takes that one away, I'm not on this objective. Now does he lose five points? Yes. But he also has a strategy for minus one damage on Terminators. Just means the Bell Flamer is better going into these guys because those are also heavy weapons and so forth. And that's a lot of volume. They're Psy weapons. They're Psy so they weapons. benefit from that. That's yep. So Bell Flamer into that five squad. It's gonna be one shot. It's tempting to spend the CP just here because this early game really matters. If I pick up like two of these dudes or three of these dudes, it's not bad. Even if I pick up the sergeant, the sergeant's then is the only one that has counter assault in that unit. Um, they're, they're not there for the counter assault. Don't worry. They're, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's still like having every single unit matters. Yeah. We're just gonna be happy with that one shot. Come on, spend some rerolls, Mark. One mode, AP two. Yep. One dice. I'll take it. Thank you, John. All right, what else we got from shooting? So 
What else we got from shooting? Nothing else. Vance there, Vance there, did all that. We just got some charges. The Heldrick's on the charge here. Seven. Overwatch. It's a T7 thing with Yeah. Me. We got it good there. <laughs> I would get to Overwatch on fives because it's defensible, but there's no real reason to, to spend the command point there. That's that's not command points into damage. Else Raptors. That's I'm getting CP. plus one to hit, though. I'm spending a CP. Reroll that charge. Okay, needs a seven. Goes off. That. <laughs> that was a little worrisome at first. <laughs> John is enraged. Mark making charges with rerolls. <laughs> this is uh, flashing back to the orcs. All right, so they go ahead and make that charge. How many are going to be able to swing here, Mark? So on you the, had to string the unit back. I had to string the unit back. This guy's wobbling. He's going right here. You're good. Just put him next to it. <laughs> Stay. Just put him next so to it. So coherency, guys, for y'all watching the stream. Um, On the first initial assault, looks like it's just going to be like four dudes. Because he can go right there. He can go right there. Um, okay. But the power fist is most important going there. And I'm going to put pop some, I'm gonna pop some steroids into him. Because I really just want to confirm that kit dead. I'm making this play, put the investment down into it. Making plays here. Making plays. Any other so, charges? That's it for charges. All right. Okay. So. Who's going to go first? Who's going to go and first? Could you tell me the stats on this Helldrake? It's 12 wounds, T7, 5 pinball. Uh, the offensive stats, I mean. Offensive stats. <laughs> it's got to rotate a little bit to stay on board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, It is uh, strength 7. AP 1, D3 damage. Only AP 1. Okay. Only AP 1. Thank you. So, both of these at half an inch. And these two dudes go up there, and then these guys just come up there. And your raptors are fast attack? The raptors are fast attacks. Okay. Okay. So, four guys are going to get to swing here. Yep. You could potentially fight twice. I could potentially fight twice. Uh, what we're going to do is go down. So, activating the raptors first? Yep, activating the raptors first. What we're gonna do is AP, additional AP, and bonus Depths of False Emperor against you. Like for a prescience uh, on a, I get Depths of False Emperor, four ups. Uh, it will be map out five ups on the Power Fist. And I'm trying to think of anything else I want to do. That, that's, I think that's gonna be fine there. And um, no vets? Um, I already have plus one to wounds. Do I want to wound on twos of my vets? That's the question. Can't do plus two. Can't do plus oh, two. Plus, plus two, so that. that's fine. Yep. You have a... Boom. So now I have to decide if I want to use uh, Transhuman here. It could potentially force Mark to do the fight twice and him spending another three CP. Um, I would spend two, but this is a lot of points and Mark already went for this play. So I think I actually have to do it just because it's one, all one damage stuff besides I the, mean the power, the power fist. fist. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it. Okay. So the Raptors. Coming in, I'm gonna do the chain swords first. Okay. Four attacks pop. So minus one's a power fist, but one chain sword from the sergeant. Twos. Four ups to hit our bonus. So six bonuses. Hit. Mm -hmm. And then you forward because you trans. What's the AP look two. like on these guys? T2. Yeah. Or oh, sorry, AP1. Sorry, it's not going to cover yet. AP1 because of, of the uh, the uh, world leader shot. So three ups. Yep. So I do fail two. You fail two. All right. I'm keeping this guy supposed to be touching me too. Gotcha. Yeah. What we're going to do is now the power fist. Yep. He's got two attacks, space, world leader shock assault. He's got one Death of False Emperor. Then one wound. One wound. Does fail. D3. D3. Free damage. Okay. Do you care to interrupt? I'm going to let the... Because your fight twice will happen at the end of the phase. Yep. So I don't feel like with four attacks he's going to get through the three terminators. So I'll, I'll go ahead and let the uh, let the hell, uh, hell Drake strike. Okay. So Hell Drake. You don't have fly, so it don't freeze. All right. Yep, Shock Salt have five attacks, yep. Two wounds, AP one. Two three ups. Make them both. Make them both. Love it. All right, I'm going to swing against the Raptors, obviously. Yep. So, um, two base. 
for the regular guys, three for the Judicier, and then I get my plus one for being charged. Here. Solidate. Yep. You're all good. Yep. Dang it. Alright, so I do seven attack because these are the warding staves. Yep. Three miss. Oh, um, hit. Does, does two hit? Defensible. Oh, defensible. Gotcha. Four wounds at AP1. AP1. Three dudes. And then the other attacks. One miss from the Halberds. And that's going to be two wounds. These are AP2. Five ups, fail one. Okay. All right. So they're down to three now. So I feel pretty, pretty happy with that. Yep. Um, so Mark, do you want to spend the three CP here? Um, Go if on I had one more dude or two more dudes, absolutely. Only three. I got to think about this real fast. Yeah, it's kind of like he's at six right now. Right. But I'm not too scared. My army actually, once it gets engaged, uh, it's already a pretty close position. I don't really need the CP too much. Okay. Uh, it's setting up for those turn one or late game plays, and I can farm out for a little bit in the late game. You don't think you're going to uh, need to fight twice to deal with any of this? Most those? of my army fights twice naturally. And the Berserkers. So only things I would be used on is the Possessed, and the Possessed are the first ones to die generally, and they're not going to get there as easily. So we're just going to go ahead and do it. Yes. Mark Perry. Corn in the chat. <laughs> Power Fist. Gonna be two deaths of false embers. Okay. Two hits. Three, three hits too. Sorry. Brain fart. Yeah, you have pressing. Yep. Six. Oh, uh, yes. Brain fart. Dom. Okay. Six wounds. Uh, Trans Wait. Transmute. All right. Four wounds. Yep. AP invulns. Uh, I make two of the invulns. So, first two. one. So, the first one kills a dude. Does it. Takes a wound. Okay. So, one guy is dead. One guy is down to one wound. Yep. And then he needs the chain swords to do it. Chain swords. Okay. Death to false emperor is free. Four. Do, 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 do. And fours. So we're looking at four. Four. AP1. Four AP1s. <laughs> You're dead. I'm going to spend a command point. <laughs> <laughs> and I need a three up. Keep this Terminator alive. Emperor's oh. with me. Leadership, right. take it. You're minus one leadership because I'm a raptor. Okay. <laughs> is that the judici is that the that squad is target? the judiciar. Okay. So he's leadership seven. He lost four dudes. He's leadership. I'm minus one leadership because I'm a raptor. Okay. Mm. I have very voxy voice. It's one of the few times it actually matters. <laughs> okay. How important is this? Um, I do have the reroll. John's laughing. He's laughing. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take the reroll because I have um, I have um, Space Marines. Yeah, I think so. It's a tough choice. All right, here we go. Good. Yeah. Auto pass. Boom. Yeah. Emperor's light shines upon me, Mark. One more pit wound. That's all I needed. <laughs> all right, that's that's pretty big. So I'm gonna get um, so Mark. Your secondaries? I'm gonna get domination. Um, and you also get a priority objective. Yep. And he deployed his scrambler. first scrambler. I'm gonna get 10 secondary points. Start of my turn. You're gonna go to 8 CP. Yep. Okay. So going up to 8 CP there. So you're gonna get 10 points on turn two. I'm gonna get. <laughs> They're giving me a tisk disc for making the saves. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. So, not a bad turn. Um, I get the ten, the ten points, and I force Mark to commit one of the Raptor units, uh, which is awesome. Um, and then the Hell Drake is up there, so I could potentially get a couple smites off of him. He's demon, and could just take it down with with a couple smites, which would be a big deal. Um, just getting rid of this with as few resources as possible so I can put the main firepower up here. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. He's got the two Dark Apostles. Yep. Gotta do some prayers real fast. Five and boom. What's the protection range off? for the Dark Apostle? For what? So that I can't shoot them? 
But for them, they're within, when I was moving up, they sh I think it's actually meant to be three, six inches or three inches. It is meant to be free. I think it should be right here. Okay. I was meant to be right on the line. Just had to move them around again. So, math out. Uh, words. What was I saying? Prayers. Five of them went off. Plus one to wounds. It's going to go on. I'm just going to go on this possess unit, just in okay. case. If I possess that over off. there. Yep. All right. Plus six inch range. Goes off. Extra AP goes off. Okay. Obviously on the paladins. Yep. Okay. So. I do have a strike squad in reserve, so I can just come down 3.1 on the edge of this objective and make sure that I have obsec on it. But very likely they're just gonna instantly die. Uh, so this is a turn where I probably just keep them one more turn because I would really like to shoot at these cultists. Mm -hmm. And if Mark starts having to commit these berserkers and raptors up, that's where I'm feeling pretty good about just dropping them back here and uh, launching the, that strike. Um, I do have the purgation squad here. So I should be able to pick up these raptors no problem. I am going to fall back with the terminator. Yep. Is it, you have any rules about falling back? No. No? Okay, so three inches because it's a forest. Yep. Are you going to desperate break out? Because I think you're trapped right now. I shouldn't I'm half I'm... past both your bases on when I moved in. Do I have? Yeah, because I was supposed to be like half. I don't think you can with me being base to base with the forest. I could have done it with my second activation. That's why I was asking. So making sure. Sorry. Second act? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. When I did it, when yeah, I yeah. pile him that's, again, that's I, thought totally I, I thought I was already in that movie. You're good, you're good. So I didn't... You're good. I meant to declare, I'm going to put your guy up there. You. Yeah. Cool. You're good. Yeah. Sure. I thought I was halfway past your base, yeah, so no you worries. can move. Okay. All right. Um, could go for the smites. <laughs> that purge quad is going to do some damage. Yeah. Well, really, I can just... I can probably get through it with, with the smites. Um, don't really want to spend two CP there, but um, I do have Gate of Infinity on them, so I can possibly force you to spend the uh, the four up. So uh, I'd rather do that and just deal with you in in the psychic phase. Okay. Okay. So let's see. We got the possess unit over here. We got the Disco Lord. Oh, he's in range. Okay, so now this is the turn I might actually spend the CP on the side cannons to get that AP3 and force the invulns on the Disco Lord. Wouldn't it be AP2? AP1 naturally? AP1 naturally. I got Extra AP. And, and then if I use the strat. Yep. yep. Now it is a separate strat from Cybolt, so I'd be spending four command points on that, but I could just get rid of one of the hardest hitters that uh, Mark has access to here. Um, but I'll decide. Because it might be better just to kill the possessed and then kill the... Uh, the Berserkers, mm -hmm. or just go after this thing over here, which is probably the more likely play. Because I do have both Rhinos intact, because Mark didn't go for that super aggressive play. All right. Let's go. I can touch this objective, but once again, it's a super risk because Mark will disembark here. He can do a warp time. But forcing my army up here forces the warp time even farther back. Um, so I think we're going to shuffle up just enough. I'm going to create this V formation up here and the Paladins are gonna be right in there. Okay, cool. So, not going too crazy, but just keeping the formation and not trying to touch the middle, because I don't have, ob Mark has so much obsec, he's just gonna hold it anyway, regardless of what I do there. Good? Yep. All right. Bring them up. Once again, just gonna protect against the little gaps. And really, I just need to, like these early turns, just keep the core intact and then force Mark to come out uh, with as much stuff as possible. The more stuff that he leaves in transports, the more annoying it is to deal with. Um, so if I can just force the issue here, that is what uh, I'm hoping for. Here you go, man. These guys. We'll just keep them within 12. Let me shuff shuffle this one. Do -do -do -do. Same thing. Okay. And then they're just going to shuffle around. So fill in that gap. Let's get over here. Go over there. Basically make it so, let's see the size of this base. Five inches if it survives. It won't be able to fit there because it's less than the center. Right. Okay. All right. So I think that's all good. Um, Purgation pure squad over here. Hmm. The 
I can't fall back and shoot. And it's not that scary in melee. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and position the squad this way. Okay. Put the sergeant this way. Let me see if I can do eight and a half, and he would be eight and a half as well. So make them equidistant. Make these two units equidistant so I can potentially put the smite onto the uh, Roger. There. Um, yeah, I think that's all good. Now, do I do the desperate breakout? Two CP plus if you're planning on spending that four CP. Honestly, six CP spent this turn. Honestly, don't. I think I just go for the smites here, and and just do and, and be happy with that. Okay. Okay. So I do have the strike squad here. Now Mark did a great job of protecting this. Um, could go here. But I got a lot of obstacle also on the objective too. Yeah. You have five bodies. Be no way to shoot them, unfortunately. Could go over there, and that would move block the disco, and I could get a couple extra shots off. Um, if I'm over here, can I shoot at the Dark Disciples? No, because they have to be the closest uh, visible if they're within range of the Dark Apostles. Okay. <laughs> Me using them would, for would allow Mark to move up this table and not have to worry about them. So, if I can kill them. Thing is that I would like to deny his points, but I'm not going to get off these two. So he's going to get 10 minimum. That would stop him, but I'd have to do a lot of damage here. Is essentially the thing. So I'm going to hold the strikes in reserve one more turn. Yep. Just not set him on a suicide mission. Yeah, not really. I don't think it's worth it because I think you should get fit. In a in an average world, you get 15 points here on the primary. Yep. And doing that could you would still get 15, and I would just lose the strike squad. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I'm going to go for that. Okay, we'll go ahead and do some psychic. Psychics. All right. <laughs> so, I'm going to go with those guys first. Let's go with the command point power. Yep. Goes off. Got it. Just you hear, and which guy do got, uh, took a wound? Oh, yeah. The apothecary should get yeah, in. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. The chaplain. Yep. All right. Um, or does the apothecary here at the end of, any point in the movement phase or end? I think it's end, but so, it's this dude right here. Yeah. So I should be able Is to it one inch? Yeah. yeah. No, it's three inches. Three inches? Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, don't really need sanctuary, but it's just nice to have. Um, but it could be better served elsewhere. Let's go with. Let's go with the pure gate, the purgation squad. Okay. Smite. Uh, isn't it only twelve inches because you don't have yeah. a captain? I'm just within twelve. Oh, okay, for the purgation squad. Sorry, you're good. Yeah, these both go guys. Ahead. That's yep. the whole point. Good. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You're totally fine. So goes off with the plus goes one. Goes off. Plus one. Did you walk into my deny range? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. No, no, you don't have that all day. Let I me just to... see who is in deny range. And that's just the. See, can you make sure I'm over my base? You're good. You're good, Mark. Uh, looks like just the paladins and the front rhinos. Yeah. Okay. I can pick the caster. Yep. So that was a purge squad. Yep. So, so one smite. One smite. Just go ahead and take that guy. Good. Uh, let me see here. So if I take my power fist, which is sad. They have the smite here, and that's only free wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, and you only have two smites can go here otherwise, because those two dudes. Yes. But if I take that guy, it is he out of smite range? He's out of smite range, then. If I take that fella. So that means only they're taking one more smite, which is fine. I'll take that. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and do, um, let's do, we'll do Astroline. Okay. Goes off. Goes off, and who's it on, on the Terminators, naturally? So this is where I gotta figure out if I want to negate this one. Yep. If I negate this, you're just gonna shoot the stuff in front, but then t these guys pop out. Yes. Those guys pop out. Oh, uh, and then these guys are touching, correct? They're meant to be touching. Should be just out. Just out. Okay, making sure. Yep. Um, I want to actually negate this. Okay. On a four up. On a four up. I stopped it. Okay. We'll go with um, 
We'll go with uh, minus one to wounds. Yep. Goes off. Got it, dude. We will put it on. Where's? Not the Is the uh, paladins? Yeah. Pally buddies. Put it on the paladins. Yeah. And then we've got another defensive. We got a sanctuary. Goes off. Goes off. One of the other paladins casting theirs. Oh wait, you can just put it on a. You can just call him the caster. I can't deny. So yeah. you're good. Never mind. Well, they they did Ash Ashley. Oh, they did Ashley. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did you roll in the first place? Uh, eleven. Eleven. See if I rolled a twelve because he had the nine. Yeah, yeah, outer range. Sorry, don't. Yeah. I just said that too. I was like, Man. <laughs> and it would be Bad plus words. one. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Um, Being dumb. These guys, will cast at them. Okay. Smite. Is that? Uh, which one is it? number is that? Second, making sure. Okay. Yeah, I haven't. So, I'm just gonna lose this dude because you can't smite anymore over here, and that leaves power fist. He can. Magic. He can, but that means that the Helldrake's engaged, so we're happy there. Um, or actually, technically, currently, is the Helldrake closer than he is? It should be both if you're trying to wrap. Okay, him. you're good. Yeah, he's up top. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. This one. Boom. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll go with uh, Gate of Infinity. Mm hmm. Try to get him out of there. Is off on perils. We're gonna take D free, and that's on mm. himself, isn't it? All right. Okay. I saw okay. the six. I saw the six. <laughs> you saw the six, and I was the six. It's like, just don't do this. Okay. Uh, that's why I did Astral Aim first. Yeah. Is to try and bait that out because I needed to not let that stay there. <laughs> I was okay with this because this allows me now to get these guys. If he shoots here, that gives me enough dude to get out. I'm, it was a back and forth. Um, okay. Um, question? We got one question for Sigler. Are you still in the shooting tide? And if so, how come you haven't switched to the mortal wound tide? Because Mark has a, a deny strat and he's all over me. So if I cast it, he could potentially four up, deny it. Uh, now, I could potentially do it now, but I had done the smites. Um, because really, I want to stay in the shooting tide because I need to do damage to his <laughs> middle army. And the smites, because they're short range, I don't have the brother captain. It's not really designed to spam smite. I need to do the, sh the shooting damage with what it's designed around. Um, but good, good question. Um, so that should be all. I got the defensive powers up. These guys are out of range to cast. And... Let me just check my powers. I think that should be it. Uh, I don't need to cast any of the other ones. Okay. Okay. So we'll go with uh, shooting. Yep. I, I don't need to shoot in the psychic phase. Um, <laughs> let's see. Where do we want to go? Actually, uh, I will cast hammer hands. Okay. Got. Got. Uh, it's five? five? No, it's six. It's a six. Astral okay. is five. Yep. Okay. I feel like those should be swapped. <laughs> like the, yeah. Astral Aim should be a seven, to be honest. Yeah, think. Why okay. is Astral Aim a five? So we'll do some shooting. We're going to start with these guys over here. Yep. Stormbolter into him. Okay. And then these silencers. Silencers over there, so hit no fours. Yep. We'll do the uh, Stormbolter. Stormbolter. So one hit. Two. Oh. Minus one hit. Minus one. I'm within range of the. Oh, you're touching the train? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know you were touching it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's within three of the train feature. That's only, That's only for, for obstacles. obstacles. Okay. Not for... You're good. Go ahead, put it. Thanks. Two wounds. Two wounds. Good. No AP. Yep, no AP. And then the silencers. Four, eight, a six. It's a lot of shots. No rerolls here. Yep. And the uh, Heldrake doesn't have a native minus, correct? No. Okay. Oh, you didn't matter anyway because you had minus one no matter yeah. what. Because you moved. So we're looking at four, five? Five. Yes. Uh, that's in combat. Yep. That's all of them? Uh, no AP. It's a three armor save. Three armor, okay. Yeah, so fail four. four. So it's three, it's D3 plus, plus one. one damage. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to reroll any of those? No. Okay. No. Three, four, uh, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Eleven? I'm down to one. I might reroll one of these just to make sure I don't have to put any other shots into it. No, I have the other silencers there. No. Go ahead. Okay. 
Good. All right, we'll go with the uh, next squad. Mm -hmm. We will do one of them here. Yep. And then the rest uh, into him. Gotcha. I'm just trying to get the wound rolls off. I have a plenty of storm bolters over there to go into the single dude. Yep. yep. All right, so no storm bolter over there because that guy, um, unfortunately, got, got a bale flamer to the face. <laughs> so go with these. So just confirm that kill. Yep. So this will be. If they the, don't kill him. It's gonna be hilarious. This will be on the one one, the okay. one guy. Minus one. One hit. One wound. We're good. All right. And then uh, these guys. Yep. So we're gonna have three saves. Three saves. I can make all these. I did not make can all you? these. Can you? Um, you that is tempting the CP. You should CP it. Um, no, we're not. Command points, Mark. Let's we'll see Don't if it did. Don't trick me. I would have failed anyway, so that's why I didn't. <laughs> I felt it in my bones. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Mark. I know when I don't need like. There's always a feeling. Chad is proud of you, I'm sure. Explosion. Does it explode? So does it explode? It's a six-inch range, right? That should be out. We're good. Okay. Only glow explodes on a six. Yeah. So that guy's good. It's not all the Nurgle ones. Are they uh, Venom Crawlers? All right. Uh, we will go next. We've got some random Storm Bolters. So we'll start with these gentlemen. Yep. Is that over his base? Uh, negative. Okay. So just one. We roll from Drago. I'll hit with your minus hit. one. Yep. Three armor saves? Three. We're gone. All right. So get rid of him. All right. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to save the other random storm bolters uh, to see where Mark ends up putting putting these guys. Okay? Okay. So we're going to go with the paladins then. And essentially, don't have a lot of options. It's basically these two things. <laughs> Thanks yep. to uh, Denial of Astrolame. So, it's how many wounds? Ten. Ten. T seven. Uh, any uh, invul? It has a five invul right now because it's within range of the. Okay. So AP two is plenty. Yeah. Okay. So I think in that case we'll just spend uh, side bolt here. Okay. And we will. Yeah. We got all of those guys. I don't want to put everything into there, but I also don't want to put too little. So. I think overall we're gonna put all the all the side cannons here. Yep. We're going to put, and then we'll put two storm bolters and then okay. the other ones over here. Roger, Roger. Just start. Oh, uh, it's you had did minus one here. I did minus one, so it's so because it has smoke. Okay. It did pop smoke. It's not really efficient shooting there. We'll just put it all into here. Confirm the kill. Don't spread. Yep. And do I want to do? Hey, John, if you want to put uh, two bring it downs or three bring it downs, actually, more on the score. So we'll go ahead, all the shots into there. Here come the side cannons. Uh, Rerolling ones and twos, thanks to Drago. So those ones at AP2. AP2 on the dread call. Yep. Five ups. No, he gone. Okay, it was over. Go. <laughs> Does it nuke? Nope. I'm just going to go ahead and roll for the guys that are getting out now. Yeah, no worries, Mark. No real tight space I'm stuck into, so. Yeah. Lose one dude. What? Um. Should have actually rolled that separate, because I may want to get out an extra six inches, but that's fine. I think we're like me going here and going where I want to, I could do that. Yeah, I think you'll be plenty, especially yeah. since you still have warp time access. Exactly. Well, you have the nice, but extra three inches is not really worth it right now. That guy, is that Sergeant Squad? Give him one, lost one. So, you're not going to charge them with Burinos. Paladins, I don't want to be in charge range, really, of... They roll, if they do go up here, though, they're practically dead. So, is Sieg's going to do that? No. Don't doubt me, Mark. Don't I'll doubt, doubt you. I do what I want. <laughs> I do what I want. I'm going to dope. You hear me? Fool. Oh... Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that, Mark. <laughs> I'm a dope. <laughs> You're a great unclean one. <laughs> I am something. I don't know what I am sometimes. So this is going to be the four-man? This, uh, this is the four-man. 
Okay. So they're going to go after the Purge. These guys are probably actually going to go after Troop Terminators. So, Squad Sergeant, you go right here. Boom. Okay. The one doing, making sure that both of these are a little farther out. So you have to be holding within three. Holding within three? Yeah, so right there. Right Alright, yep. so those are all good. Mm -hmm. Um Dread Claws destroyed. Dread Claws gone. So two more points to bring it down. And it's actually one single generation when I built okay. this extra list. I'm gonna just dread giving up those points. Probably gonna go away. You think? Uh, the Hell the, the Disco Lord can also go, but the Disco Lord is nice at places. I have to figure out. I'm gonna drop one of them. It both requires more testing. Okay, so I'm gonna just fire all the storm bolters over there. Okay. From the not from the paladins, obviously, but from the uh, the characters. Gotcha. So first one. Yep. Is a chaplain. Rerolling from Drago. I'll hit. Force. Gonna be four with us. We're good. All right. Uh, second chaplain. Uh, hits on twos. Do the hits on twos? Okay, I believe so. Let me. Uh... I know the normal chaplains don't hit on twos. I'll just go ahead and take two saves. I do lose one. Five. I will re-roll it if he doesn't hit on twos. Yep. I feel like a chaplain in Terminator on mission. But... Took two saves. If it, yep. Maybe special because he, he's a weapon skill and ballistic skill too. Yeah. Just special because he's great knight. Okay. So that was him, Drago himself. Yep. Rerolling ones. Does Drago have a storm folder? Yes, see. sir. Oh, does he? The okay. apothecary doesn't. Okay. Three okay, saves. Yeah, it's Three. We lose one more. All right, and then the Ancient is the last one. Yep. Three rolling ones, three hits, fours, one save. We're good. All right, uh, then the Rhinos themselves. Uh, we'll keep going into the Wounded Squad. Okay. Uh, Reroll from Drago. No. One save. One save. We're good. And then the last Rhino. Yep. One hit, fours. Two saves. Same exact squad, the three men. Two saves? Yep. We're good. All right. That's all good. All right. Oh, that's the single dude with the wound next to him. Yep. All right. John was just asking what the breakdown on the Terminator's back there. There's one guy with one wound who gated infinity away. All right. So that's going to be going into my turn. Yes, sir. Uh, leadership can't fail here. You don't, you don't think I'm going to charge the rhinos? I mean, you're welcome to try. <laughs> no. Okay. It's not so. <laughs> I, I welcome you, Charge. I'll even give you the outer charge and let the, let the other guys come in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I think this got bumped a little bit. You should have currently seven on. What's it called? Priority targets, you get your six. Yep. So I did kill the Dread Claw this turn. I ended up killing the Hell Drake. I killed the Raptors over here. And then killed a couple individual berserkers. Yep. So I assume you don't need morale over there. No, no. Only lost two leadership eight. Cool. And I'm possibly within six. I am within six for leadership nine. So done. Easy peasy. All right. On to you, Mark. On to me. So you do get the 15 points. Yep. Once again, it was going to be really hard to deny that. Um, I could have sacrificed the strike squad, but I like having them because as Mark commits resources, a lot less in his backfield, and I can double up. So I deep strike the strike squad, and then I also send in a purgation squad with gate of infinity. That kind of double up uh, power can really do a number on his backfield. So it's kind of what I'm going for. So we're just setting up this one dude right here to be six inches of the wall. You get plus one to his advance and charges. If the Terminator had had died there, I would have done the strike squad this turn. Yeah, yeah, because you needed the, you needed. To, I couldn't uh, let a, a five and fifteen go. Well, it ten. wouldn't matter because you would have dropped it on that turn, and then I probably would have retaliated the following turn. He's like, I still have raptors over here and so forth. So, sink here. But I mean, to bring you down to 10, I would have. Oh, put yeah, drop that over there. Yeah, yeah. Dynamic insertion. Oh, uh, I still. Yeah, just true. How you feeling, Mark? Feeling pretty decent. You're going to try and get into these paladins this turn? No, I'm just going to try to <laughs> block them. <laughs> Come on, Mark. And try and get into there. the paladins. I want to see those four raptors, or is it three? I got four raptors back here waiting. Four raptors, they're going to hit the paladins sometime in this game. I currently I'll let make sure it. that I have six models on the objective. Yep. 
Um, so I gotta sync on that one. I'll come back at how the best way to handle that. Let's see what this disco lord rolls for an advance roll. Rolls a one. <laughs> this time he rolls the one. I got a free CP. Um, minus two, but plus one also. So it's a 12 inch movement. Um, sync here. Problem is you also negate my warp time. Um, so I'm trying to sync here. What would be the best? Negating warp time is huge. Because yeah. the, if he's just standing out in the open, he's going to get smited. Um, and he is also a demon. So I can do, without being in the Psychic Tide, I just do flat three yep. mortals to him. It's probably going to go right Which here. is far more efficient than shooting at him. So we're going to announce these guys. Go six. I really kind of want to move block this to keep him from getting here. That's really what I want to do there. Okay. So I'm probably going to sack a, uh, just a good old uh, Berserker squad to go do that. Those poor oh. berserkers. Oh, berserkers. That's just what they do. Bro. Thrown into the meat grinder. That meat grinder. So I gotta figure out what to do with this disco. Now, of course, Mark, you still have uh, five berserkers and possessed unit there, correct? Yep. So, right here. We're looking at minus two, though, so that's a solid. <laughs> yeah, plus one, so minus one, 10 inch charge, nine. Let me sink. Mm -hmm. Sink here. Does get flamer. He can go over here and shoot this purge squad, which I don't really want to do actually because I want to charge him with this unit, this dude. Because yeah, I would pull the close models. Yep. Sick. I got five berserkers coming in this turn. Oh, uh, and the little dark disciples. Dark disciples are going to turn two. This is your board edge. I can come over there. Not in my deployment. Uh, not in your deployment zone. That's right. Which the next turn you could. It just means I want to scramble something over here to get that extra, to get that middle field objective. I'll just have to move some of them, make sure they're six inches away from the board, from my deployment zone. So if you were interested in these objective markers, it doesn't have to be um, these exact logos. Uh, these are just ones we use for our war brand. But if you want these types of neoprene objectives, you can get them from 3D6 Wargaming. Um, you can get them customized uh, to however you want. Yep, and um, they are one of our, our great sponsors. So if you type exclamation point sponsors in the chat, It'll bring up the sponsors for you and then the, the links to their shops. We only use products that we actually believe in for a competitive 40K. So these, these are the best objective markers around in my opinion. We have many different designs. So this is actually the first time we're using the black objective ones. Which looks sweet. We're gonna go ahead and just do that. So you're gonna go there. for the 10 inch charge? I'm gonna go for it. It's a nine. Oh, because minus two plus one. Okay. Oh, I can reroll it. And I still also can like jump up maybe my warp time here, but also it's still at the same time, this has allowed me to just put more stuff over here. Yeah. Um, but I'm arguing if I'm seeing this position here, and what does this give me for next turn? Sink here. See in there, flamer, blah, 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 blah. You may just want to hold back for a turn. If you have to shoot him next turn instead of like, say this rhino. Oh, it's not bad. I think he's just gonna stay back here for now. Okay, so not going for more of a threat overload kind of. Nope. He's just sitting over here touching this dude, this thing. The forest? The forest. Okay. Let me go that way. And where if you get on this objective, he can heroic you. Are you still touching the forest? That's what I'm trying to figure out. All right. John's on right it. There. John does love his heroics. John, can you just measure if it's possible? Yep. If it is, that's all good. If not, can I make possibly, can the tail count for touching that? No. Okay, <laughs> making sure. <laughs> the straight up no. It's not possible. Okay. So forest or hover rope. So we're just gonna do this instead. Boom. If you, uh, I'll edit the links later. Um, sometimes when it refreshes the stream elements thing. Uh, but if you want to just grab the 3d6 wargaming link Chris and post it back in the chat. Thanks All right, so you're gonna keep the disco Lord up there. Yep. He's just gonna be on the middle of the objective Yeah, no, I can just shoot him from here. You can just shoot him from there But that means you're not shooting over six, which is okay, you're okay with me. that. So All right Interesting choice I need to do is Go here these possessed so they're gonna one guy's gonna be outside yep 
because we're gonna see if we can set up that warp time go for the warp time on the possessed yep just to really move block this okay oh you don't think the three because i could smite through the berserkers um, you could and then make charge moves yeah around like i don't want you to do that i want to make it sure that the randos are actually working against you cool. where you've been using them really well for you i want to reverse that okay sounds good to me so then rhino rhino right there i can go right there okay he's out of the nigh range now i still gotta worry about the strikes and possibly a gate play but if he puts the Put the paladins over here. That means this front lines is going to kind of more collapse because that means he's not dealing with all this. If I put the paladins over there, Mark, I am going for Hell Mary nine inch charge. I know you are. <laughs> I know what you Does do. Does that sound like me? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> he only makes good rolls when it matters. <laughs> John said I only make good rolls when it matters. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what else we got here, Mark? Thank so... You need to do is go right there just shovel the, that other berserker squad back yep anything going on over here with these cultists the berserkers we're gonna yeah. shuffle over there to get a um, more bodies on there not so much just more bodies uh we gotta get our middle middle field of scramblers okay i think I'm, i assume the raptors with that what's up i assume you'll be doing the raptors uh with that type of job Yes, most likely. I mean, you can do it with the cultists, that's fine too. Uh, I just gotta figure out where is the best position to not just lose them. So, we're making sure that these Dark Disciples over here touching, Y being within three inches of a Dark Disciple. Okay, dark so I won't be able to target those uh, yep. Dark Disciples. Okay. Sparex just tipped five dollars. Thank you so Thank much, Sparex. Very much appreciated. Sparex was uh, our top donor from last month, and we very much appreciate his support. All of that goes right back into the channel. We've got some really cool stuff coming, uh, including new emotes for all of us. Mark Perry has a happy, great, unclean one emote coming. Yeah. John Lennon has his monocle and top hat uh, heroic intervention. Like he's pointing out that he's gonna, he's about to do something on you. And then uh, I have a tech priest one. And Nick has a angry Makari emote, which I'm a big fan of. Always angry. So what we did was he right here. And we're just trying to make sure that they have six inches uh, to him. That's all. Okay. So Plus one to the charge. Okay. Yep. It's this uh, he can go a little farther. It's yeah, just my I'll, extra tall, cool banner yeah, makes I'll, it a little awkward. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh. Yeah. Roger, Roger. You're good. All right. These Raptors, they're probably just. Like the thing is, I got this perch squad over here, um, and yeah, the purgation squad. He saw how much you know it puts out a lot of firepower. Yeah, anything that he sends this way, it, it doesn't really have any targets right now. What I'm tempted to do is just make it where they're minus two currently to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Four inches. They gotta roll. Looks like a five inch advance to get there, Vin. Um, tempted to throw these Raptors and just advance them up. And uh, scramble something else. Mostly just them for for you can't just gate them over here to grab this objective. Okay. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So would that require a warp time play here? Oh uh, no, probably just a regular advance roll. So we're just gonna see what they roll for an advance roll. They rolled a five, so let's say 19 inch, 19, 17. Which if it goes here, and just you still can get on that objective. So, so you can get on just normal deep strike. Yeah. No CP. Obviously not worth a reroll there on a on a five. Yep. They can clear this rhino up though. Just put more stuff on that center objective. Yep. Yeah, that's a lot to kill through. <laughs> exactly. Because obviously this is a full rhino with possessed and berserkers. Yep. This also allows me to protect that rhino a little bit more too. I think we're gonna be happy there. Now, six inches from my edge. Gotta figure out where that is. Can you draw me a 30 marker right there? And uh, gotta figure out where my table edge is. Just for that deploy scramblers in the middle of the table this turn. Yep. Needs to make sure he gets that because he's basically setting up for uh, the next turn where he can try and do it in my deployment zone. Uh, is that 30 inches? You're not fully touching over there? Yeah, four. Okay, cool. So, all right, that way. 
probably get it with these cultists. Yeah, I just need to be in the lane with this dice. We can do that. We can still hunt the cultists touch the objective and get scramblers. And then these berserkers just come over here and touch the objective also. So I just get two obsec units on there? Yep. Mm. The Berserkers are pretty tough when it comes to being a cover against Storm Bolters, so... Yeah. Even if I use Cybolt, eh, it's not worth it. Yeah. And then obviously I wouldn't be using it on the Paladins. Okay, so Cultist Scramble here. The Raptors went over there, just put more stuff on that objective. And... Good on movement? Looking at movements, making sure... At this point, if you drop the strike squad over here, I'm not worried about that. Oh, um, you're so close to me that warp time prescience is not so important. It's, it's not so crippling. Okay. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and cast some spells. We're gonna do our warp time uh, with possessed. Are you outside of the deny range? Good deny range. He is outside of deny range. Cool. Just making sure. Yep. We got it. So that's prescience. That's warp, uh, warp time. time. Okay. It's always first because if I fail it, I can just auto cast it. Yep. We don't. We don't need. Well, we don't want to do that here. And that is with the word bearer stratagem. Yep. Super handy if you build a list that is dependent on those key spells going off. Right, move around a little bit, my dudes. Okay. Make sure they're in two inches. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Um, checking here. Prescience. Prescience. Now, where do prescience goes? I'm not planning on killing these dudes. Those dudes I do want to kill. So maybe target these berserkers over here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Make sure I have the 18. I did have the 18. And I think we're gonna do just that. Okay. War time, uh, not war time, prescience does go off. All right. We're happy there. We're going into our shooting phase. Uh, these four berserkers. We're just gonna shoot the random bell flamer. Onto this rhino. Yeah. Three shots. Two wounds. Two wounds. 82. So five ups. Two fail and bolt. Two damage each. Oh, I actually just. Yeah. It was that one, right? Yeah. Better than I was thinking. Any other shooting? All right. Any other shooting? <laughs> Let's sink here. We have. Oh, all pistols? pistols? So possessed don't have any. The Rhino could shoot a Storm Bolter, or Kabi Bolter. He has two. Let's think here. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Trying to think. Just do plank damage, I think, on them. Or on the Paladins, but the thing is you have the Apothecary, too. Yep. <laughs> so he's just going to do some plank damage onto that Rhino. Ha! Please. Put it on fives. Fives. You got one armor save. One, three up. And do make it on a four. Okay. And do I want to throw some marquee crack grenades? Okay, well. Okay. So both Throw a crack grenade there. Hits. Nope. Next one. Hits. No. Okay. No mark crack grenades. No mark crack grenades, but I got four bolt pistols. <laughs> Raptors. Three hits. Okay. They did advance. That's they, they advanced. The one time I'm like, ah, I can fire bolt pistols. I never fired the bolt pistols. Can you though? Okay. Vin, let's go ahead and I think we're just gonna do some charges. All right. Making sure, checking everything. They checked over there. Did that. We set up that. Bam, bam. Fired. Yep. So. We're gonna fire this Berserker squad that's trying to go after the Purge squad and the Rhino. Yeah, plus one to this, so an eight inch. It's more than enough. Get on over here. I assume you didn't want to try and declare the Apothecary. No. <laughs> You're gonna stay over three inches away from You're me. You're good. <laughs> Sergeant's right there at the ground floor. Mm -hmm. And they'll okay. be just right on the other side. We're gonna grab him in the corner and kind of like make it really hard for you to, make it kind of like a trap. Um, then this next three man squad, yes, these guys are basing, they go ahead and trap it. 
those guys are going to be going right there. So the next unit has plus one to free man, six total. It's declaring uh, both of them. Sorry, both rhinos. Yeah. Okay. So boom. Happy there. And then these possessed. I'm just charging this one right now. And uh, just the unwounded one. Just the unwounded one, because I don't want to accidentally kill you. <laughs> but do you? <laughs> no. Plus one to this. It goes to seven. You're whipping that all day. Yeah. Here you go. All right. What, like two models are going to swing? Two models. If, if I pull him up. up. Yeah, if you pile him. Yep. Okay. Are you going to accidentally kill the rhinos here? I can't wait for it. I hope not. <laughs> all right. Any other charges? Um, I'm checking. That's like, that's it. Okay. Check, 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 check. Who wants to strike first? It's going to strike first. It'll be these two homies. Boom. Okay. Oh, um, go right here, right there. So what we're gonna do next? I'm gonna figure out what do I need there. Probably do I want veterans? I have prescience so. up. Oh, um, I think we take the vets just to be safe. Or we take the extra AP. We have two fights. Oh, uh, it's only four marines. The extra AP is probably more reliable. Then the vets, because I'm already Death to Fall Simper on four. I can Death to Fall Simper on fives right now. I can go to fours. So, this unit's not crazy important to kill, but I do. I'm just not going to worry about the NACP there. Just not okay. worry about it. So, line up over here. So, where do we strike with the Power Fist? Oh, uh, no. These are just chain axes from the Sergeant and the Dude. Twos. We got three Death to Fall Simpers. Threes. Ones are bad. Yep. For these ones? Yep. AP2, you said? Uh, AP1. Okay. I fail two. Fail two. Okay. Chain swords. Yep. Go hit. Two dead to fall sempers, though. Three hits. String five. One point. One more. Good. Cool. All right. And I picked up two, so that's just fine. That unit. I'm not going to kill that unit now. That's just happy. You could tag like, the Apothecary or the no, Paladins. No. <laughs> Please do, good sir. Yep. So these guys are going right there. I got two Berserkers now going on the Rhino. Hah! We got three Deaths of False Empress. Only three? I was hoping for all of them. Nope. <laughs> uh, only two wounds, AP1. Darn. Make them both. Oh, oh AP1. AP1. AP1, so I fail one. Chainsword, two hits, one armor save. One more armor save. Just fail. So down to eight. Okay. Other unit? All the units. We're gonna go ahead and activate this free man right here. I'm gonna put two dudes here. I'm gonna put one dude there, one dude here. Actually, it's technically two dudes here. And, and yeah. One at, one at the six wound guy? One at the six wounds. Which one are you doing first? Doing what? the six man because he only has four decks. Or the, the six against Nothing. the six. Nothing. Right. This chain sword. Nothing. All right. And then yeah. the two guys. Two dudes. <laughs> now Mark rolls bad. Yep. No wounds. No chain <laughs> Precisely when he doesn't want to kill something. Just awful. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. You hear me? <laughs> what is this? Yeah, right I was there. hoping for some Mark dice. All right, just pretend it's a Lord of Change. No. <laughs> this is not the time. All right, we got two possessed going on there. Now, number of attacks, it's going to be five attack spot. This is only eight wound one. No rerolls. No rerolls, but they do have plus one to wound rank because the Apostle. We got three wounds at AP2. <sighs> Toasted! Why? <laughs> More fire betrays me. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna trap this Rhino too by grabbing its side. Hey, you're good. And just going right here. I already couldn't move around. Yep. When you were at the tip of it. Plop. And we gotta do the second bit of activations. I believe so. so Codex is possibly downstairs. 
Did you swing into the other rhino, Mark? Oh, uh, what's up? Did you swing in the two guys into this rhino? Yes. Yes. Okay, that one did nothing? No wounds? Uh, that was the one that did something. <laughs> Those are the oh, two Oh, then what about the one over there? Uh, they were here, I believe they did nothing. There's the one that whiffed. Because this one was hitting on twos, this one was not hitting on twos. Okay. But the okay. rest of the guys striking this rhino didn't? Do Only anything? one dude swung there and he just didn't run any fives. Okay. All right. So I assume these guys... They're just going to be they, happy where they are. So do they have to activate again? Uh, looking up now, I believe they do. Which is why I'm about to just like do two more probably dudes over there. And it's just the exact same thing I just did. Okay. Uh, but John's pulling it up. John asked me if just it, start rolling what's and see. called. See if it matters. Yep. So the two dudes, only three attacks each because the world leader one does not activate on my second activation because I think he's are dumb. Two deaths of loss and burst. Yeah, two wounds at AP2. Two. Do, All right, if you want. If you want, do fail one. Yeah. Chain sword. That's a ball supper. One armor safe. Coasty. And then the other two berserkers going into them. One was a leader. Got yeah, one at AP1. One at AP1. Chain sword. I do make that on a five. And then the solo dude on the six wounded one. That's a false emperor. And then one wound. One more wound. Good on a six. All right. Oh. It's a difference of one wound. <laughs> <clears throat> but obviously you're not trying to do anything there. No. No? No. Can. can. So it's an option. Gotcha. So you didn't have to if you didn't want to, but you I'll rolled it out. I, I did that first yeah. one because they can't kill you. Yep. I want to just plink you down. I don't want to kill you. I just want to wound you. Makes total sense. So... All you, my friend. You get five points on the primary? Yes, sir. All right. I do gain a command point, so go up to seven. Yep. Shout out to 40K Stead and Professor Grimm for following. Thank you so much. We really appreciate all of your support. Move up. Uh, do chaplain litanies. So plus six in range. Goes off. Extra AP does go off. Both of them on the paladins mark. Yep. So, then pop these gentlemen up. They do move four. Shoot back. Get behind. No, I'm not gonna. I don't need to touch. No. Keys. Yeah, we'll just stay over there. That way, the next turn I'll be, I'll be able to go over here. Just make it safe. Not take the minus two penalty. They can't see them. It's only if they, uh, even if I move six, only two guys are going to be able to see. Yep. So they'll be able to see these guys if I end up. Uh, so it's probably going to be smites into them anyway. <laughs> um, the two guys who who died, I don't need a leadership because I'm plus one from the banner. Pretty, you should take the leadership and just be terrified. Pretty solid. <laughs> pretty solid uh, turn there by Mark. Now the big thing is he has Berserker unit here. He's got the characters. Yep. And then he's got the Rhino here with five possessed and five Berserkers, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So really wanna just try and do as much damage pushing out here as possible. Ideally, I'd, I would like to because the Disco won't be at minus one. I, d I just need to... Uh, do as much damage as possible into yep. it. Yep. You need to you need to break out this bubble. Yep. Yep. And not let a disco charge. <laughs> disco, disco, disco. Da, 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 da. Terminators. Real quick, rhinos. guys. Yeah. Did the rhinos swing back? I I didn't swing back with the rhinos. Here's the important question: Are they in Drago range? I don't think so. I think they're just out. They're just out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're still at top tier. Yep. Three attacks each. First one on. This one? Uh, on four this attack because it's shock assault because you <laughs> charged me. So this one into these ones. Okay. Nope. And then the other Next guy into the, into, yeah, into the berserkers, not into the possessed. Oh. Nope. Cool. They, they tried. They tried. Good job, buddies. Proud of you guys. I think they do have a self-heal rule, I believe. The Grey Knight Codex. Um, on a six, I, I regain a wound. So start moving some Terminators out. 
He's another gonna, quick shout out to November Mike for subscribing for three so, months in a row. You are the best, November Mike. Thank you. Thank you so that was much. I like a little burp too. Um, he'll stay back there. All right, so we got that Terminator unit over there. Basically, fill out this screen. But if I kill the Disco Lord, I'll be in a pretty good shape there. Um, Paladins, those guys. So. Bothy Gary is gonna move up. Mm -hmm. Be one point one away from you. Keep you up. They. They don't know what they want to do with their lives. How many? Who has a gate left in your list? One. And, and that two. dude back here. That's yep. what I saw it. The one that almost parallels off the board. Yep. And, and then wound they remaining. have gain as well. Okay. Okay. So let's go. They can help fill the screen up. Go follow up behind. Okay. Because Mark can't come in uh, off my board edge. So it's really this area here or uh, over there. Gotcha. Do I want to bring the paladins around? Probably. We'll, we'll touch the uh, ruin here. Guys, I play rhino wall, but I'm not always, I don't Shit always have to matter. use my own rhinos. Hmm. Loan your rhinos out to me. Honestly, doesn't matter there. Yeah, I don't think it'll matter there. So I'll just keep him stationary. Okay. Uh, you did a really good job of move blocking him in. Because yep. even if I came this way, like you're not I wouldn't the whole be a unit. No, I would be like basically here anyway. Yeah. It wouldn't make enough of a difference. So and there's a better position anyway because you know you're a slower mover. It's still closer to that objective for later turns. Exactly. So we'll we'll stay there. Um, and then the characters. Mm -hmm. Guys, in the comments while we're talking, this we'll is like probably like my favorite list for like. What I love and what I love about 40k. Um, type in the chat. Let us let us know what you like about me and Caesar's list, and where it's both it's it's competitive, but it's what we kind of like in our units and our armies. And let us know. Okay. If there's any curious and popular ones, Frosty Boy, and uh, will let us know in the chat. I'm giving Frosty some work. That's all I'm trying to do. I feel like he's doing he's something. He does. All right. So they have to come down. Sorry. I could dynamically insert them behind Mark's lines here, but he did safely leave this Berserker squad here. There's no way I kill them in cover, so he would just easily move out. I would just eat you back. He would probably eat me if he made the charge, but he could also bring it's the warp. A, it's he a five-inch charge, too. You can move advanced the warp time guy down Yeah. and just insure it. And you're, I'm close enough now, you don't really... Warp time's not really essential anymore. Exactly. So we'll, we'll stick with that. Um, I think the big thing is because I'm going to go after the... The rhino and the discos i really need to have some angles to shoot over here um and i just need to make sure that i, I hold this one or at least force mark to, to dedicate some resources this way so guys guys vortex beast needle is vortex beast always just make Listen sure nine me. away nine away nine away mm -hmm. Basically want them to have full shots on the, yeah, the Raptors. You. You're good, bro. And then just move blocking the objective so you have to come you know, around or what, you know, whatnot. Actually, you'll, you'll, with a three inch disembark and then the move, you'll be right there. So. Just not a good position either. There's, there's no real reason. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna block the objective. So it's basically, do I want to get as many shots as possible on here? while being on the objective. I think that's what I'll do, is I'll string one guy out and then put them around this way. Gotcha, bro. So at least if you wanted to come safely with it this way. Yeah, fam. And I'll just make sure they're within. I'm just gonna make sure everybody's within 12 of that guy. I'm pulling the Raptors alone. They've done their work. I'm ready for two wounds at AP1 naturally. Should be over him. Yeah, yeah I'm like touching his gun. <laughs> So that's good. Um, what else do we want? I think that's pretty good. 
So we'll go ahead and go into Psychic. Yep. Is this the two man or is this the solo man? No, that's part of the squad. The guy should be right next okay. to him. Okay, you got like three inches apart. That's what I was always asking. Currency wise. Cool. I didn't know if it was the solo or not. I thought he was the yeah. solo because he was wounded. The wounded guy's the solo one. Yep. I didn't know if I missed the perils. That's all I wanted to check. No, you're good. Okay. Cool, cool. Basically, I want one out there so we can get a smite off. Naturally. Okay, Duke. So we'll go Spells. into Psychic. We Spell will base. go. No, Mark go. and deny any of the powers that I have. Yep. So we'll start with the uh, command point one. Perils again? <laughs> we'll just take it, whatever. Takes one, one. again. <laughs> um, he likes taking the perils, but at least it's the good perils. Um, it's this one. So uh, he will go ahead and uh, gain me a command point. What do we want to do? So the defensive buffs, they're super nice to have, but I could put them on something else. I could put, stack them on the apothecary, uh, just make him a, an absolute beast to, to deal with. Um, I think I'm gonna go with gate first over here. Archer. Perils. Perils. That's the CP time. All right, get rid of those dice. Get out of here. Here we go. Call it. Goes off. Isn't it a six? Oh, yeah. you got plus one. I have plus one. I am Grey Knights. Uh, you want to use the strat? Nah. No? It's like way back there. I can't even do that. Oh, well, I probably could, but I'm not going to do it. No, you're good. Yeah, like there's nothing I could do. Yep, you're usually yeah, in the You're fine. You're good? Yeah. Okay. All right. They are much more likely to do damage back here because their, their strat is separate um, from Cybolt, so I can do it on them and then do Cybolt on the Paladins. Mm -hmm. And I could just force those Berserkers back so he's not hitting me with everything, or I can just put them reinforcing here, and then when that Rhino is popped, yep. um, I go to work on it. And I'll also have a second unit on the objective. We're going to do that. Roger. Just oh. take that safety play. Yeah. So once again, I have I have a whole angle down here. Now, Roger. Mark uses the, the, the six-inch disembark here. He's right next to all my charges. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. That's good with me. So we'll go for some more psychic. We'll go for a smite on the two... Uh, for gators. Okay. Into the berserkers. Goes off. Oh, uh, for whatever. Sorry. For gators. Those, yeah, go ahead. One more wounds. I'll take it that, dude. Apothecary? Yeah. Fails. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Chaplain. Mm <laughs> hmm. Do I need my defensive buff? I think I still just play it safe with the defensive buffs. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and go with um, the minus one to wounds. Goes off. Okay. Just tell me if you want to. Yeah, you're good. And then we'll go with uh, Sanctuary. Goes Still off. Fine. All on the Paladins, of course. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go with um, a Smite from Draco. Smite from Draco fails. Goes you know off. what we forgot to do? We forgot to do our litanies. This one. Or, oh, because yeah, I, yeah, I failed one. Yep. Yep. Um, I did yeah, my I, I did mine. You did yours? I forgot to do mine. Uh, I did, that's what I was checking. So, five up invul and a reroll. I want to reroll hits this turn from the five up invul, dude. Cool. Plus one to wound on these five berserkers. Got it. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, uh, this one has the plus one. This one did not. All right. Uh, the Paladins. Astroline. Astroline. Um, that's not really new. Do I want to stop Ashley? I'm not really, because like there's just shooting. I just here. want it for options. Like, so yeah, options. I'm I'm just gonna let it be. I'll take another CP over that. Okay. Um. We'll go for the um. We'll go for the Terminator squad back there. Okay, Spike. Yep, goes off. Goes off. Flat three. Let's see if he ran it forward enough in the nine range. No, he good. Uh, flat three. On this unit. Take there. Wound. Right here. That's right from here. The, those uh, terminators over there. Like you multi out. Yeah, yeah, it kills because they're two wounds. So one goes over. Um, we will go. So don't have too many powers left. Um, this strike squad over here, they will cast into them. 
Okay. The per which one? Oh, the check spots on the other end? Yep. I'll take the one dude that you're measuring out for double tap. That's this guy. Okay. Uh, was it for all of them? Not for all of them. Yeah, but yeah. these guys. But the, like this one yeah. had multiple. Which one? Th Th this guy was closer no matter what. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. He goes away. That guy goes away. These guys will be out of uh, yep. the double tap. But um, let's go with... Um, I, I just have the banner man left, I believe. Because um, the single guy I intentionally kept behind the wall. So he's not seeing anything. So we'll go with the... Um, the banner guy. Okay. Doesn't go off. Okay. So we'll go into shooting. We will do... Let's start with the paladins first. Okay. So definitely going to spend Cybolt here. Naturally. And we just want to see this rhino here. So I'm going to just put myself down the two because I will spend Cybolt 100%. And now I have to decide how I want to split here. So I think it is important. If I at least degrade the Disco Lord, then he's not as much of a menace. He, he does degrade. Um, but I could just simply go after what I can kill, which is uh, going to be these Berserkers here. That would open up. Um, that would open up just putting the side cannons here and then putting the, the Storm Bolters there. But let's see how much damage the uh, those two guys can do. Yeah, right, John? Roger. Two guys. So we'll see the Strike Squad over there into the Raptors. Yep, so you got uh, Math or eight shots and then two from the other guys. Is it 14? Yeah. Is that over 14? Wait. So you may grab Four, it. 8, 12. Yeah, it was 16. All right. Be good, bro. I got you. And then 5. 5. So, one more saves. All right, so that's the squad. <laughs> reap. <laughs> reap. <laughs> reap. 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 We got a quick question for Siegler. What do you think the extra wounds are going to mean for Grey Knights? It's big, honestly. I think you just go with Terminators in that case. Then you have a big brick of obsec. Yep. Um, and the perturbation squads, their only the, weakness is like what? They're the, they're one wound. Yeah, the main reason that you take the, the main reason that you take the paladins is you get the fight on death strat access, and they can also take two more special weapons, and they have the plus one wound. Mm -hmm. You don't really need four wound paladins. Three wounds is plenty. Um, that's that. It's awkward enough. Now, if there's a ton of uh, three, flat three damage weapons in. Uh, Ninth edition as the codex has come out, maybe then I change that. But I don't really want to pay a points premium for a four wound paladin. Yeah. I don't think that's that's gonna be worth it. Um, okay. So we'll go with the we're gonna save the purgation squad. Roger bro. So we'll go with uh, the Terminators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's shoot Mr. Bannerman first. Okay. He's gonna shoot at this. Come on in. Oh, it's right. five zoomed. We're safe. We're good. Okay. Now I have a dis uh, decision point. I can spend the two CP to reroll wound against that, and this is this is the basically the play where I try and kill this, and I try and kill the disco, and the ch I should one thing in here I should be able to get uh, no problem with the purigators. So then it's one thing that's charging me back, and I'm going to make a charge move in here. Um, I think that's the play I'm going to go for. So I'm going to actually spend a bunch of command points here. Okay, so you did the side bolt already. I did side bolt already. Yep. Take it um, JP. Are they side cannons? No, I'm not going to do. I'm going to do the reroll wounds. Okay. Put um, you down the free. Yep. So all the storm bolters are going to go there. All the side cannons are going to go over there. Okay. So you're and just AP two against him, right? AP two, yes. Yeah. Uh, because I got the the litany off, and it's natively AP one. And I didn't move this turn. Don't really need the plus one, but it would just make it super efficient if I'm already spending these command points. But I'm not going to do it because uh, I have Drago's rerolls. Good, because there's no minuses to hit now because you had spent the. Uh... Nope, I already did my, my smoke up. All right, so here we go. We will do storm bolters first. Four. Here we go. Five and six. Draco, Draco. Draco, man. 
Dragon Man. Oh, hit. Not helping. This might be overkill. I'm looking, looking like I already rolled pretty well, but I, I really just need to ensure it. And then re-rolling these. All right. So that's going to be quite a few. Yeah, I shot the Paladin for a Paladin Ancient. AP2. Yep. I'm still dead. Actually, I think I just died on the... I died on the dot. I made that many five ups. That's tempting us for the CP there. Okay. That's really tempting there. I do have other Storm Bolters to shoot. Right, but they're not... That means I have two wounds up. You have two Storm Bolters that fire into it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that means those Storm Bolters also aren't going into infantry. <laughs> it is a five up, though. It is a five up. I'm right. going to do it. Just because, okay. again, my CP, I'm going up to free the next turn no matter what. Hey! Nah. Does it blow up? Does it blow up? Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. It's not within six. Nothing in think. there. I'm just gonna go ahead and roll for the guys getting out. All right, lose one. Get one. Okay. I'll let Mark position. I uh, I will resolve. I'll just start resolving the uh, side cannons. Yeah, go ahead. Shouldn't move this turn. Please. So, four, seven. Seven saves at AP2. Yep. I'm thinking about popping over here, doing the emergency disembarkation. Yeah, 100%. Uh, you uh, which means I need, a, I need to roll it separately. So that's yeah. what I need to think about. I lost one dude already, and I'll just I'll just roll the other nine. Just roll it. Okay, well, I already lost one. I was just gonna go ahead and count it. Okay, just re-roll it. So I need to think here. You got, how many swarm bolters here? I still have a chaplain, the ancient fired, the yep. other chaplain, Drago, and then I have these guys. Those guys, which is just one right there. Mm -hmm. So the possessed are pretty good taking mats. Oh, uh, let's see the purge squad. Let's see, right, I'm right here. That's the edge of his space right there. Yeah. Can't quite get out of range of that, so we're not gonna worry about it. Okay. I'm happy. Wanted to see that range in the first place. That was a possible play. Um. And yeah, we we'll go. What we want to do. So just one berserker dies. Is we're losing. We're actually going to lose a possessed, and keep one berserker. That's the best way to remove these guys. These, uh, mostly because the purge squad already wants to fire into them because they're multi wound, and the storm bolters totally makes sense. Do not want to fire into them. I don't want them to all to hammer out the same targets. You got it. Makes total sense to me. Boom, boom, boom. Then Zerkers are coming out. We only need one model here. That's it's all toasty. Toasty? Toasty. <laughs> toasty, I say toasty. So Mark correctly assumes I'm going to fire the purgation squad at the <laughs> multi-wound possessed because I'm D3 plus one damage. So uh, every failed save will end up killing one. Yep. It's just more efficient. Happy there. Then seven saves at AP two on the Disco Lord from the side cannons. AP two, so I got four ups. You do have four ups. You should very. I, mean, I should lie, but like I probably just die again. Like I said, I, I, are you only two damage? No, it's only two damage. Yeah. So you're good. I'm down the you shouldn't die there, but at least I did the great him. Yep. I'll heal up in the, this turn. I'll just be happy there. Okay. Okay. So we'll go ahead and fire uh, storm bolters from the Rhino. Yep. Into the Deserkers. What unit? The free man? Uh, uh, free man here? Oh, this one. Okay, gotcha. This one. Gotcha. Okay. Check, check. Two. Two. We're good. And the other one? Yep. And I'm engaged with three Berserkers, right? Yes. Or This one's engaged with three Berserkers. Some amount of Berserkers. Oops. All right. We're going to go with... Um, We'll fire Drago first. We'll fire the Chaplain first. You can see. At the uh, the Berserkers, obviously the one wound. So all hit. Fours. Two. Two. Two saves on the middle Berserkers. We're good. Drago. 
Ego can only see the possessed, so he'll just go ahead and shoot at them. Gotcha. Three rolling ones. Fours. Just two saves. Two saves on the possessed? Yep. We fail by oof! Oh, that's, that's nice. We got a quick question for Mark. Yay! Actually, it's a couple questions. Do you see the additional wound for raptors and warp talents making them more viable? Absolutely. And, and the change in Melta rules may be making Melta raptors useful. Oh, uh, yeah, possibly. I would not be bad to take a Melta or two. Or the Melta guys. Yeah, go ahead. The Stormbolter is at the um, Berserkers. Okay. Stormbolter. One hit. Nothing. And so no matter what, I'm holding that middle objective. You're downing the Apothecary, making an obscenely long charge here. Only Mystic gets legal. <laughs> not even legal. <laughs> it's not even legal. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the Raptors and the Warp Talons getting that means that now I can go do the Storm Rushes and I don't just die easily. But the AP minus one Chain Swords is huge for the Raptors, and the Warp Talons also goes with the durability. They're already kind of expensive. Them going the two wounds makes it where they don't just die to random shaft shooting, which is a lot of times what they engage. Didn't realize this. This is on the possessed. Yep. I lose the free. They're gone. And, and that's because it's D3 plus one damage. Yeah. Uh, thanks to the shooting tide. A little possessed at the job, though. I'm happy. All, All right. right. Cool. So, uh, random storm bolter. Mm hmm. Uh, can go at the disco lord. Yep. Maybe I'll plank a wound off here. Uh, the unit should be within six of Drago because it's right there. Um, you're not minus one to hit, right? On those saves? No. Disco. On disco? No. Okay. Four hits, fives, two saves. Oh, three saves. Three saves. I'm good. Okay. Worth a shot. So we're going to go into charges. Okay. Start with these guys. Yep. They are going to go... Let's go uh, into these possessed. Come on in. Oh, uh, where's the, is the Berserker guy with the, this is him? What's up? Yeah, this is the Berserkers. Okay, right so I'm not going to worry about the Berserkers. Okay. Goes in. Go where they want. Do you want to go around that crater? No. Just gonna not uh, I guess I could. This is a nine, so it'd be a seven inch move. Yep. I just want to stay outside of engaging him. So I'm going to come all the way around. Cool. Come on in. Instead of moving nine, move seven. And which one was wounded? Oh, it's this front one right here. Okay. You can just put it up top. We got it. And then this guy will just come through the wall. Seven inches. Yeah, he'll be on the other side of the wall. Then we have... <laughs> We're going to do... So, this is from here. It's two guys. Three guys. Those three, and then these are the three guys yep. from the other squad. Okay. Did you want to be that close to me? I don't think I could avoid it because I think this is how I need to trap you. Okay. To keep you because to I keep me to... from pivoting out. Yeah. Okay. Pivoting out. That's fair. So I'm gonna declare both them and them with the paladins. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can't fail it. <laughs> So we're gonna move eight. So he'll end within an inch there. And then we'll go like this. Come up. That way. Come in that way. Gotcha. Okay. So they're staying once again in a nice yep. coherent line. Um, don't want to, not going to bother about charging the characters here. I have the Mr. Uh, Apothecary, who is not wall one of my while we fight, we, we uh, always stand with fights. So I just want him to just block up the area because Mark doesn't really want to charge him. He's actually an very annoying to deal with. Yep. Um, so it's just this three men here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Goes in. That'll just be on this side of the wall. Roger. Because, yeah, touching this won't matter with him. Um, and then the Purigators might, might as well go in. 
because they're right next to him. They failed that. I don't know how. <laughs> Rules. And I think that's all. Okay. Okie doke. So, uh, don't have any other charges over here. All right, that seems good. So now obviously what to activate first. Mark only has two CP left, so he can potentially do an interrupt, but then he won't have access to a fight twice the next turn with the Berserkers, or a fight three times, or a fight twice. Um, with, well, the Disco can't, can he use yeah. it? No, it's only infantry. It's only infantry, okay. infantry by just double checking. So the Paladins will pick up these Berserkers, uh, no problem. So it would be these possessed here, how many? How many you got there currently is four? Four. Okay. I'm Probably fine. only two to swing Paladins have though. all the defensive buffs. I'm not really concerned um, if Mark interrupts here. Like, I don't care if he kills the two purgation guys. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just getting rid of his CP. So we'll strike with those guys first. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Because you don't have any other special weapons on there. Nah. There's no crazy stuff. All right. So we'll go... He won't be able to reach it, so he'll just come in this way. Come on in. And that's because he'll be in range of all that. And then these guys will stay outside of an inch, just base those dudes, and then get right there. Okay. And then half inch. Cool. So they're gonna fight first. Juice the car. Uh, one guy, two guy, three guy. And. Uh, Oh, good. So Looks like you have four dudes that can swing. Yeah, just the four guys. Okie doke. Um, shock assault? Yep. So that should be four more attacks. Three, four. And then I also have the banner from the ancient, which is going to give me plus one attack. And do you have falchions on them, or are they just... No. Okay. Gotcha. Um, what are they? Warden saves? One halberd, one halberd, and the rest are the warding staves. Okay. So let's go with... It doesn't really matter. The AP won't matter, and it's all... Uh, your, T, your T4. T4. I have a five of him. It's all AP, at least AP one. Oh, you only have yeah. a five of him. Yeah, I'll okay, have a five yeah, yeah. Of him. I'm used to playing the possessed that I get the, the silliness. All right, so that does matter. So we'll do the um, halberds first. Yep. Sixes to hit here are going to be additional hits thanks to the Argorium scrolls. Okay. Re rolling, thanks to Drago. So two hits from the halberd. Threes. Re rolling because you're demon. Yep. Two. I feel one. Um, so Dude. One wounded guy is gone. Okay. And then these ones. Threes re rolling thanks to Drago. Two sixes, two additional hits. Wounding on uh, strength six, wounding on threes. Re rolling because you're demon. Yep. Okay, all of them. Oof. <laughs> First half. Fail two. Five. It's. I'm just gonna go ahead and see. Let's uh, let me roll it out. Roll the first two. Just yeah, tell me if that one kills a dude. Rerolling damage because of Drago. Okay. Yep. Kill. Okay. You have four wounds. At least kills the other two. Dudes. Drago has like bane of evil as his roll. And this is the that has never come up for me before. But it's reroll damage against demons in the fight phase. So. Uh, no need to tag the berserkers there. Yep. Cool. You want to interrupt? Um. Nah. Come on. Nah, please, Mark. I'm good, bro. I, I was trying to tempt you with the two per game I'm good, guys. Bro. <laughs> I thought that was Don't enough. Don't tempt me with this weevil. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the entire paladin squad. We're gonna do. He's gonna come around. He's gonna come around. So four guys on these three dudes, okay. and the other ones on the other three dudes. Uh, do you want me to roll this out? For what? Against the free pa these paladins? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and just see if they whip. Just roll the halberds. Okay. Okay. It matters because you could you could just whiff. All right, so I believe. One, two, I have two halberds. Yep. Three halberds over there and uh, two you, warding staves. Yep. So you only have two that can swing on the, these berserkers. That's not the guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's those guys. Yeah. So it's the two halberds. Yep. Two halberds. So they're paladins. Three, shock assault banner. Three is rolling. Okay, adds three more. Do you want me to roll the other half? Uh, the other half, which one is it? The warden saves? These guys, got how it's many two halberds there? and then two warding staves. Just see the halberds with. Okay. That's all I gotta see. Fair enough. I believe. I am happy to. So here's the two halberds. Rerolling, thanks to Drago. 
That's going to be three additional, so this plus two more. Winning on threes. Okay, that many. That was a two. Okay. Come on, buddies. Nah. Okay. <laughs> These are paladins. Okay, activate the uh, purgation squad first. He's going to be, have to be behind the wall. He won't be able to clear it. And then the apothecary will just stand there. Gotcha. Cool. I guess I would finish this. But they're not going to go far. Cool. Go, cool. cool. Uh, that's all for me. It's all for you. So me going into my turn, I'm 15 points on the primary. Yes. And if you return, you got your free for your, what's it called? Priority um, targets. I get targets. Other bring it down. Yep. Two more points for bring Two it down. Bring it down. This disco does heal. I go up to free CP. Oh, let me see if I rolled the sixes on the self repair for the rhinos. The six wound one? Yep. And the other guy? No. Okay. Right. Dude. I was going back through the data sheets. I didn't realize they had a self. Yeah. Because other rhinos. Do. I don't. do it all the time. All the other rhinos do have it. They do have it? They do have it. It's just most people don't know about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all you. You get to gain okay. his command point. So you yep. went up to three. How are you feeling here? I'm pretty good. What do you get? I just gotta make sure. Gonna just try and take me off that objective? Yeah. It is gonna bring you in the threat range of the Paladins. Right, but at this point, the Paladins are running out of turns to do crippling damage, and they haven't been able to do yet. So we're gonna see what this Terminator Sorcerer cast or advances. So, one, that's the CP spent there. So I want to get him in the best position possible. <laughs> Gives you plus one. So, how far does he move? Right there, seven. So. Happy there. Then. No. So this board very cultists. They don't have all the cool shenanigans that the world leaders ones can do. They move away. What kinds of shenanigans? Like pile and consolidate six in, or just consolidate six inches. They're world very cultists. They don't get any of that stuff. That's a world leader sink. No shenanigans. No shenanigans. What is the, does the movement of a Disco Lord degrade? Yes, it should be down, it's, it's mid-tier, so it should be at eight, I believe. Okay. Maybe 10. I will look it up for you. Yes. Vigil book is actually on the walkway. I was reading it. He's got a possessed arm. He does That's have a possessed cool. arm. <laughs> I got lots of random little conversions. I got a lot of actually berserkers that are older than all of us in this house, Here. which is weird. I'm gonna show Mark's movement off, Chris. So he moved the cultist back, um, and then he's moved advanced that Terminator Sorcerer up. He's got the Berserker from that squad who is in the ruin yep. within three inches, and they're strung out to try and deal with this. Nine inches? Okay. Whatever, I, mean, I saw it. So then he's got these guys over here. He's gonna just hold down the fort. a little bit. Bam. Disco Lord's time to shine. Advances six inches, plus one of that. So that goes to 10 plus 16. That goes to 16. You can go to solid 14. Um, one model on this objective. Let me see if that movement can possibly get me to shoot you. Nope. Nope. That's right. why. Because I had shuffled him back and I was like, what yeah. if Mark actually rolls well in this advance here? <laughs> yep. I'm actually going to keep him inside. Okay. No, I can't see. Not from, from this point. Well, I should, I should be just right in front of it. Oh, we were connecting, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna count by that for working. Oh, yeah, I did forget that. Yeah. Uh, you mind if I just go right there? You're right there, I think I can see you too. Yeah? This so is there you can. Nope, nope, you're good. Okay. Yeah. Check in. I did forget that we were using. We're, we're eventually gonna get the acrylic bases so that you can just clearly see when you're mm -hmm. on or when you're not. But um, those are on order right now. You can go over to the other, the overhead, uh, Chris. Thanks. So, um, got the Berserkers still to move. You've yep. got another unit of Berserkers, so three units still of Berserkers. Infinite and I berserkers. have one in, one in Outflank, too. It's so coming in this turn. That is true. So I gotta figure out what this Disco is going to do. He's probably just going to go over here, try to pick up these Terminators, do some move blocking. I am tempted to take these Berserkers, 
run them over here. They get a good advance roll. There's a possible way that I can sneak obstacle on here. I'm also got the over five man, but I can try to put it over here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that make it nine inch charge. That's huge for the scoreboard. If I can take them off of that one too. So thinking about all the points is all about the points. Yep. Not worried about killing. All I gotta do is just limit him on this points mission. That's all I need. So trying to do. Who has gate left? This guy. That man and. Strike squad, Strike squad and the purgation squad. Okay, so both of them need to go away. Yes. Because if you do that, you have no way to get back in the gate of divinity, correct? No, I can't swap out powers. Okay. Making sure. Okay. So, let's consider here. So we got a six on his advance. Six on his advance. He was, it goes to plus one to seven, plus his movement is nine. So if he goes for the crater, he goes right here. He can get out of the crater. Uh, be pretty happy. He also would move block these rhinos pretty well. Definitely this one, because this one's so up against the wall. And if he goes like right here, he's got that corner pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't know if you... Don't this one's this one's hard to do. Yeah. But I'm not too worried about that this one moves. Okay. Um, that's fair. So... Here. The paladins got their max buffs up, so that's a that's yes, that's awkward. So the warding staves, well, they, they have sanctuary and they have the armored resilience up, minus one to wound, plus one invuln. Yep. So uh, with the warding stave, they get plus one invuln in combat, so three up invuln um, because they already started a five up. So they're very very difficult to deal with. Of course, three wounds um, and a potential transhuman physiology makes them quite quite durable. Yep. I think I'm gonna do is just take away this terminator unit. It's 14 instead. And let's clear out and not be inside this thing. Okay. Bam. So disco coming up. Disco's coming up. Just check in there. Alright, these berserkers, these ones got plus one to wound. So where do they what do they do? Hoffa here, you got pretty well moved blocks against paladins, but I need to figure out how can I continuously move block them themselves, so, like move block these rounds. How much longer can I trap them in the, if this one's in a corner, how it is, if I get this point right here, it can't move uh, because these ends would catch on the terrain. Mm -hmm. So if I get a model right here, it's move blocked. Uh, it's trapped. So this one, problem is if I get a model right here, just not right here you go that way which means i need to put more models i just need to get more stuff over there so <laughs> let's sink here then these berserkers are pretty easy your job is to go handle this Right. Berserkers move up. These berserkers move. You got one more unit of berserkers. Yep, and I got one in outflank. I gotta bring in okay. this turn. So an easy answer for my finish up the complete my scramblers. These guys just come over here. Let me just put them that way for you. Yep. Just put them in the far Touch somewhere. there. Good. They can go here. Built a good. Be happy. Mm-hmm. This is getting on the objective is more important than trying to yep. play too defensive and deny that. So I gotta figure out where this other five man berserker comes in the reserves real fast. If it comes here, both of it's trying to yellow and nine inch charge. Oh, um, you could just leave it in the center for the next turn too. Yep. Oh no, you, they're from out. They're in strategic reserves. So. Okay, you do have to come in six on the side. Yep. But you, you won't be able to come into. Uh, off my board edge, within six of my board edge. Right, which doesn't matter over here, but like here, it's a charge. There, it's a charge. If I pick up, think if I make any of these charges, it's a, that's taken away five points mm -hmm. from Siegs. Yep. Um, I think I'm gonna split, put one here, and the other one goes over there, because it's both still the same chances if I remove even one of these. If I make both of those charges, and both of them work out really well, then I take them, I put them at the zero primary. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's, that's a big swing. So, let's go ahead. Let's see what we gotta do here, Ben. I think these berserkers are maybe gonna wait. 
Um, because I just need to continue blocking out my characters. Especially if you if you're gonna already commit on those two charges and the center, you can't be everywhere and still be protecting your backfield because you do have to think about the gate of infinity play. Yep. To be right in your backfield. Yep. <laughs> okay. So we got that. Just over an inch away from the wall here from these guys. Mm -hmm. Trying to. My hands are kind of. You're tricky. good. You're good. I, I got it. <laughs> Just 1.1 away. Yep. Okay. Then. And I set up these guys right here. I think we're going to go take. Plus one, the one boy. We're going to put him on this objective. And then within three inches there. Therefore, if he teleports over here, he has to shoot these guys before he can shoot that. And that's awkward. And there's a. There's a solid, you know, there's a pretty decent size. Uh, there's a pretty decent size force. So if he goes here, that means his charge is not good. Uh, and if he's going over here, he also has ever sings the zone out from. Yep. And then the berserkers. But make sure this berserker is right. Four inches right there. It means he can't even ch legally charge there. Okay. Let me just make sure I have free. So I'm at free CP. I'm probably just going to shoot that purge squad with the disco lord to uh, just take that off the board. Okay. Um, All so good. Extra screening stuff, make so it awkward for just you. Just the last, the five berserkers, where you where you deciding to bring them in? that. Reserving. I think we're just going to try to yellow that charge. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a marked plan. I could also just come back here, guys. That would be his safe play. It is the safe play. I'm not killing 10 Berserkers and then also killing characters. Yeah. And it gives me like turn four to set up on those and disrupt Siegs' turn five. Yeah. Um, uh, Getting rid of his OPSEC is the big here, big yeah. thing here. So if he happens to just fail this charge and I get to pick it up for free, yep. that's a really big deal. So I think if we do that, Guys can go right here. The problem is you're gonna have so many shooting to do with that. You got lots of things you gotta deal with. Yeah, that is true. Another reason to do do go over there is back there is a little harder for you to handle with. Try to think here. Yeah, within six of my, I believe the long edge is the board edge. Yeah, so just more than six from there. Okay. So the board edge. Roger. Put him still in the forest. Yep. Scram, scrams are complete. They go here. Oh. The thing is, I don't like going over here because it is kind of far out. Yes, it does put more models on here, uh, which really saturates this objective. But it may be better to just go over here. Uh, the more likely play is me taking him off his priority objective. Because mm -hmm. if I'm over there, what happens is like, he's just a lot. I'm trying to sit there and say. To make sure some models over here are good. Oops, sorry. These guys gotta go over here. They tap. Grab. Cool. Okay. Get on that. So check in. Just trying to sync here. Really bogging down your turn four is really key. Turn five is awkward for me. I'm tempted to take this other five man and still devote here and just trap you in longer. Yeah. Uh, then the paladins can only really hammer out one unit. If I trap that rhino, it's also pretty big too. So I think what we do is We bring this unit of Berserkers here. Only within six. That's that one. Oh, it's in here. That's that's the five man coming from Strategic Reserve. They go over there, and we can somehow pick up both of those units. I'm gonna. 
That's a really good spot to pick up both of those units, because that means that his, his ability to put stuff on that objective is going to be really awkward. Um, which is why I'm making that one just simple. I'm going to just tell you one thing. Um, I have a 1 CP strat to overwatch on 4s with the purgation squad. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to kill them, I just have to obsec, okay. obsec, so... Yep. Just double... Splendid. Yep, yep. Do, 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 do. I think... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you activate the overwatch and then you get 2 instead of 6s. You hit on 4, 5, and 6s. I think I need to continue to trap this rhino wall, but also one of the problems is I need <laughs> models here. <laughs> Um, yep. This is the Paladin unit. The farthest model is right here. Five inches. With the Psychic Power, I can get on the objective. Or with a charge. Yep. But that doesn't stop me from my turn. Um, I'm already got 15. This turn, I got 15. Is this? I, I got 30 right now, currently. So, if I get 15 across two more turns, I'm in a wonderful spot. I just need to continue to try to strain you out. Awkward, 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 awkward. So are we taking a risk here or just play it safe? Making sure I'm not missing any plays. Check, 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 check. I think from this position, I'm just not in a good spot to do anything over here. Yeah. Um. If I was farther up the table, that play would make more sense. Yeah. Because it would be hard to get back, but I'm literally right there. Yeah. So move six. Yeah. I think. Hit in. Just confirm that one there. I think we're just going to go with the safer play. I already have kind of a lead. Just Don't make sure it's holy with six of that. Yeah. Four edge. Bring out that tape measure. So I don't think of where that is. It's just not a great spot. Plink damage can come at me. If you kill that Terminator squad, though, I don't have a lot of plink damage to go over there. Yeah, but if I, if I, like, out in the open, it means, like, the actual aim. I'm going to try and negate actual aim next turn. But then they're, they're totally actual aim. <laughs> like, they're totally just regular shooting, just going to hammer me. Yep. I think we're just going to do it over here. Okay. That's the mark there, I know. Just make sure you're more than six from the, yep. the edge. If I get, if he gets zero points on the next turn, like what happens there is like, I am just in a lot cleaner stage. Um. Okay. Bam, bam. Um, make sure we fit. Got that over. We got that charge. All right. So, take base. We got these berserkers. We're gonna warp time them. Goes off on a nine. You can deny this time with the purge quad. Might as well try. Um, could spend the strat here, but I'm just gonna see if I get it. No. I'll take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Great. So. Four inches there. Two inches here. That's sorry. Drop from this point. Okay. Okay. Then what do we have? Fresians. Where do Fresians really go? Fresians just wants to kill with. Goes off. So we have press ants on these berserkers again. Okay. So you're toasty, toasty, toasty. Shooting, shooting. Bell flamer. We have a bell flamer and some crack grenades. We're gonna hit this bell flamer. Into this perch squad. Okay. D six. Um. We can also just go ahead and try to shoot off, try to get a pallet, but they're so tough, so it's just not. Nice. About that. Two shots. Full moon. <laughs> That's a weird cock. That's definitely cocked. Alright, one guy dies. We'll take the guy in vision. Okay. Um 
Good there. Vin. Shot. We got Kraken. We're going to throw one at the Purge Squad. Because we don't want to make our charge any harder. Hits. Wounds. AP1. Ow. Sad face. He's good. All right, we'll throw a Purge. Onto this Rhino, we'll shoot a crack grenade. Oh. Okay. Get those guys back on there. All right. So the charges. Yep. Let's go over those berserkers are charging those strikes. Just the strikes. Just the strikes. Uh, Seven inches. Go ahead. I assume you just want to. Yeah. Five inches. Five inches, because I'm going for that crater. I'm gonna stay right at one inch away. He's wobbly to right here. Yep. Okay. Vin. What other charges? We got the berserkers in the middle. Yep. We got Berserkers in the middle. We're going to go ahead and just do this Disco Lord. What's he declare? Just declaring this uh, squad right here of Terminators. Okay. So nine inches. Mm -hmm. He's best put right here. And Heroic. We're going to do this Yellow Charge here. Okay. Yellow. Nope. CP Mark. Let's see, it's time for a CP. Corn. Nope. Six again. Get out of here, corn. All right. <laughs> These five berserkers. We're just going to go ahead and. You should declare the paladins. Declare the strikes and this purgation. Purgation squad. Let's roll a solid. Not eight. Out of range of that. So. One dude right here, just to trap that vehicle. Mm -hmm. And we're saying where you can't engage me there. Yeah, just don't um, pile into the... We won't bait you yet here because we won't engage him yet. Okay. Vin. One right there. That's all we really want to do. Just want to move block. But I need to put a model on the strength. So... Um, I'm going to just remind you, I yeah. have the apothecary literally right here. Yep. That's what I was about to ask. Where was he? He's, He's right here. Literally at the wall right there. So I can probably be on the other side right here of one inch and stay out of heroic there. Yeah. We're good there. Okay. Yeah. Can you just check that? All right. Go ahead with the other stuff and we'll fix yep. it. Yep. Other charges, Mark? Other charges. I think that was the last one. <laughs> That's it? Okay. that flop all right so let's go ahead check everything we got that check 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 the interruptions could be worse these guys are reeling wounds here yes and get the ex exploding attacks um, I, I will kill the disco lord almost yeah. certainly so those guys, do they have warden What's the weapons on those? Uh, warding sure. staves. Warding staves. Not as good. They feel like two models. They got, what, two attacks each right now? Uh, three for the uh, Judicier. Or the Judicar. Oh, yeah, he has three, but everyone else just has two. Yes, sir. No. So. Oh, 100% interrupt you over there. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> interrupt either way. Really? Tell me which one. I think we're okay. I'm gonna just put myself down the yeah. command points because it's just happening. <laughs> it's gonna you, happen. You tell me which one you is that. You see the model positioning here. These mind games. 
<laughs> so if he goes right there at one inch, how many dudes are swinging? This guy, this guy's got to stay here for currency. Oh, um, this guy's kind of awkward because he has to move right, and he can't exist inside the wall. So he's real awkward, and he can't move for his own right now. So like three, have real hit wounds and damage. Those guys over there. It's a tough choice. I think I can take these guys because they can kill like can you? two to the free. And then I'm going to pop all my steroids into I'm going to pop some steroids into them. Oh, you have two command points. Two command points. That's, okay. I'm just bumping steroids into them. So we're going to do this Disco Lord. Okay. And World Leaders, six attacks. <laughs> okay. Are, are you degraded? You're degraded, right? Six attacks? Uh, it's yeah. Okay, sorry. All the other Steve ones are not degraded. Sorry, Rampart. No. Let me see here. I'm at middle. It's gonna be going down to three attacks in mid tier. Okay. Shock assault world leader. Okay. So one death of false emperor. Yeah. Twos. You got three wounds. AP two. Two damage. Okay. Two damage each. Yep. And then the tentacles. The, not the tentacles. The steed. Five hits, three wounds, AP two, three wounds, three wounds. Okay. First one kills, dude. Yeah. The bite attack hits, death of false emperor. See what? Uh, yeah. This, this is terminators. This is regular terminators. So this is strength fate. So these are AP uh, free, D free damage. Okay. Good. Uh, free. Warden safe. Oh, more than safe. Okay. And then temples. Two hits. Two armor saves. Just armor saves? Just armor saves. Okay. Uh -huh. One takes, it's one damage, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Fight here. Right there. Go ahead. You didn't get within an inch of me intentionally, so I'm yep. going to come around and face you. Oh. He's going to base. He's going to base. He's gonna base, and that as well. If they die, they die. The, them being on the objective won't matter. All right, three there for the sergeant. Two, four, six, eight. All right, here we go. Yep. That was a miss. Freeze. Two. Uh. Hold on, hold on. Um, nah, I'll, I'll let it go. Four ups. Lose one. Boom. All right, for them, they're going to end up popping extra AP. Okay. Anything else? Oh, uh, no. Just because I don't want to... I got to pop the extra six inch uh, after I fight consolidations. I want to do that. So he's wobbling right here. Oh, he's gonna be actually right here. Wobbly. So four berserkers. We got prescience up. Then the sergeant. It's that dude right there, the metal one that had to move up. So he got it. Three swing here. Oh, no, he's wobbly. Yeah, he's wobbly. Cool. Twos. Fives are bonuses. Five bonuses. It's freeze the wounds. Get all those saves at 82. Let them trade. Nope, they're dead. Okay. If anyone has any suggestions for a dice set, that was a good time. Boop. We're going to stay over one edge away. Yep. Stay in still over one. That's unfortunate. I was hoping I kill like two or three. Yep. And then they activate, they just tap here. Yep. Get a little closer. It's still staying over one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So quick question for both of you from Sparex. How are you guys feeling about the game so far? Is it going according to plan? That was a big swing. I, if, I, if I killed like two there, um, or got lucky and killed three, that would have been really, really nice. All right, so 
Never pile in this disco. You mind if I go ahead? Consolidate. So yeah, yeah, consolidate. Sorry. He goes you right should here. be able to go all the way around. Yeah. So right here. Um. Tension the base. He's gonna go just right there. I don't think you can angle where I can't just drive out. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's that, but that's fine. If you go over here, you're forced around this. Also, uh, I'm just gonna go straight down. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Nothing okay. I can do about okay. that. Okay, no worries. I just don't want to get and jump yeah, over here. Yeah, because there were terminators there when you would have piled in. Exactly. So you you only need the three. All right. These berserkers stay in one inch away from there. We're going to kill this purge squad. I'll try. So two guys. Two dudes and this one sergeant. Two decibel zippers. Yeah, three ones at AP1. Eagle. Good. Oh. These weren't chain swords. These were chain axes. Okay. I got you. Pop All off. right. Okay. Can I take here? Yeah. Pop. Okay. And. Stay over from an inch away from that guy for purposes. I think. So, I'm trying to check here with this pylon fast. So if I go right here, staying over an inch. These guys slowly go over here. Okay. Bam. If I'm right here, can he? You would have to. Let me think here. I give up this trap, which is a problem. I need that. I want that trap. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I was just checking. Okay. Obviously, you're not going to consolidate into the paladins. Nope. Or that apothecary. Stay away from him. Okay. Uh, uh, just make sure he's a bit back up because you're right next to the wall. Yep. Right there. I okay. think we're going to call that that. Okay. Yep. So yep. your turn four, you get five points. All right. I got max scramblers. I got domination this turn. And my priority objective. Also, isn't it for this? Let me actual fast. Since I control that one this turn, that's not a priority objective, but it's on his table. Half. Do I get? Okay. No, it's sure. the priority. Making sure. first yeah because he couldn't pivot this way he would drive hit the wall and he couldn't turn this way there was plenty of room because i wasn't okay. base to base to it i saw i based I'm, it on my pilot no okay. i'm not base to base all okay. i have to go is like this and then come around okay there's cool yeah. make it sure well, i wasn't sure so i'm gonna just tag the train here so i can shoot the storm bolters Plus one to one on this berserker squad. Plus six inch okay. range, doesn't go off, and extra AP does. Okay. No extra range, just um, extra AP. <laughs> yep, yep. They're gonna stay there. Okay. He's gonna come in the door. Okay. He's not in range. He won't, he won't be healing down. All right. He's in the, the door over here. Okay. 
think that's everything that I have to move. I believe so. Okay. So this was the only thing in combat, correct? Mm hmm Okay. That one's trapped, so. Yeah. That's all good. Let's go do some psychic. Roger, roger. Try and gain a command point. Goes off. Isn't it a seven? Uh, I'm plus two because of the sanctuary. Oh, chart. okay, you have the sanctuary chart on him. Okay, I didn't yeah. know who had it, so I couldn't remember. You're good. All right. And we will go we'll try over there. Uh, okay. The two terminators. A smite, obviously. Smite, going here. Off on the two man. Yep. Chappy boy? Yep. Uh, hold on. Wait on the chaplain. Might wait on that chaplain. Let's go with uh, that other Terminator. Goes off. Uh, that's Smite. Yeah. Really wasn't that much. Second smite. Second. Two smites so far. We will go with. Probably want to do. We'll do Astral Lane. Goes off. Goes off. Um, this is where I do want to negate. Yep. We're up. Doesn't deny it. All right. Obviously on the paladins. Yep. Selves. We've got. I'll go ahead and do a smite. Gotcha. Yeah, because I don't need the uh, the power. Goes off this one. So it's on the berserkers up here. On the berserkers. Yep. We want that one. That one's move blocking a little bit. I, could just, I He just used the power where I can move in the psychic phase. He just used it? Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So I can't do it now. Gotcha. Just, it, he has it. He used the smite power instead of using that. Yeah. Okay. Now I could spend one CP to, to cast that. I did gain. Good. Yep. Okay. Um, we will go uh, with Drago. He'll do uh, Sanctuary. Goes off. And then... Oh... Uh, did he try to do the smite? Let me try to deny. Right here. Okay. What was like the casting value of it? It was like a 10. <laughs> Rolled a 7. Rolled a 7? Okay. 7? Oh, with him. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I actually denied that, so they're okay. going to be fine. You're good. My bad, sorry. Okay. Nope. Okay. So I got Sanctuary, but failed his next power, which is smite. And then... Mm -hmm. We'll do Armored Resilience. Minus one to wound on the Paladins. Goes off. And I have the Banner guy left. He'll just try and do a smite. Barrels. Barrels. I'll just take it. Break free. Two. Okay. All good there. All right. Um, I'm not going to cast with them because I don't want to take perils. Yeah. yeah perils oh, will be bad. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and do some shooting. We'll see the Stormbolter on the Rhino. Okay. Uh, oh, no, it, it fell back. back. It fell back. The, uh, the Stormbolter? Yep. Yes, sir. One miss, and then I'm winning on the fours there. One save. Good. Okay. And then we'll have. Mm -hmm. We'll throw a crack. I don't know they can combat. Um, let's go. They'll just put the random storm bolter shots. Gotcha, bro. Into the just go. Mm -hmm. So, chaplain. You might have had just do chaplain. Drake yeah, go ahead and do it all the same. This is the only thing you can shoot with them, right? Yep. Okay. So those ones. And then I also have the banner guy. So I'll just do them all together. Here we go. Three only ones. All hit. Fives. Five. Five. Two four saves. Take one. And four. Yep. All right. That's the even number that I wanted. We'll go with uh, terminators over there. Okay. There's two, two guys and one guy. Correct? Yeah. You mind if I just do him? Uh... Go ahead. Actually, uh, just make sure I'm within six of Drago, who's right at the corner. Yeah, this guy's not in six, so he doesn't get so it. They do, they do get it, so you gotta do so those. He'll go first. He'll miss with one. Two saves. Two. Yeah. And then the two guys who are in Drago range. Reroll. All hit. 
fours. Looking at four saves. Matters. They're good. Okay. Get all those charges. There's just one left. Just one left. Okay. Um, I believe in your ability to punch right now. <laughs> let's go with these guys into them. Okay. Six. Twelve. Uh, are these guys obsec? Uh, no. 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 Okay. Let me just double check. Ranges here. So, nine away. So, uh, with a minus two. Um, Roll five on the main shoals. Yep. Okay. That's fine. I will accept you rolling a five up there. Into the berserkers right there. Didn't move. I was actually tempted to engage them because they don't punch very hard, but I didn't want to risk losing because he does have that one power weapon there. Okay. Those okay. saves. They're gone. Not. Okay. The uh, storm bolt is wasted. Yep. We got, what do we got? We got the Paladins, of course. So let's go ahead and shoot. Did get Astral Aim off. So we got five Berserkers here. Yep. We got the Cultists over here. Are they the only thing on this objective? They're the only thing on this objective. And you failed the plus six in range? Yes, yeah, so you moved them back. Yeah, so you can't be shot at them. So, there. so we're going to go, really want to pick up a whole bunch of stuff. So. This guy's in range of them. This guy is. That guy. Is that over his base mark? Yeah. Okay, so those. And then him. Is that over his base? Yes. So those guys from here on could potentially shoot at them. Um, Just confirm that kill. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So I want to get. I should just kill the disco on the charge. So I'm not really worried about shooting at him. Instead, I need to get rid of Mark's obsec here. And so we want the extra AP against these guys. So we'll go with the side cannons there. Okay. We're going to go with one, two, three. Storm bolters over here. Oh, I ignore cover. You have like no save and one wound. I have a six up. Okay, so I would ignore that. Um, I'm definitely side bolting. So we'll, get, we'll put two guys over there and then we will put one of the storm bolters over here. So there's three of the storm bolters. And then the other ones basically don't have, because I can't target them. Nope. Can't target any of the characters. Nope. Okay. So we'll just go the other storm bolters here. Okay. As well. Okay. So here we go. We'll do the side cannons first. The side cannons are where? Are you sure? Yeah. No, where are they going? Oh, in here. Go gotcha. Stop there. Plus those extra bolters. It's an extra die. Cool. Good old from Drago. Uh, strength eight. Choose. Because of a. Uh, yep. AP two. two. Ignore cover. So they're gone. Okay. Storm bolter, a single one into the guy over there. Mm hmm. Reroll. Three hits. Looking at two saves at AP2. Yep, yep. Berserker over there. And then the two dudes over there. Um, I do get to reroll these. Threes are bad because they're minus one to hit. So two saves on that Berserker, and these are going to be on the. So they're dead. They're gone. And they're gone too. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, charges. He's gonna declare them. Okay, come on in. Makes it. We'll just come one inch away. Mm -hmm. Um, they're good there. I killed the dude back there. You did. Okay. So paladins will declare them and them. Come on in. There's nothing else. No other units over there, right? No, no, just the berserkers. Good for this kill. Good. 
I'm going to come into this gap, so I'll be three inches away from the objective. This guy's behind the wall. Same with this guy. They're going to be all within range of him. They're going to pile and come here and see. Wow. And then... He'll base you. Gotcha. And then I'll fill in the gaps over here. And then they're going to have to stay like that. So I'll be strung out. So that guy won't swing for sure. Okay. Good. Yep. You got those first wings. Uh, who are you going with? So obviously the Paladins. Um, Hold on. Here. Yep, I'm just making sure your currency is all good. Yep, yep. So I have the, the pile here, and then the pile there, and these guys are within uh, two of those other guys. Yep. Um, so what do we want to do? We're going to definitely put these three guys. That guy's going to be out. So one, two, three into the berserkers here. And then this guy, four. And then four guys into the... Um, the what you call it? The uh, Disco Lord. Gotcha. Um... We'll actually just do three and then do the all five. Just to be safe. <laughs> Don't want that disco living, even though it's four wounds. All right. Good. Yep. yep. So here we go with the five dudes. Um, so it's one, two, hal two halberds. Oh, no. One, two. Yeah, one, two, and three warding staves. Okay. On the disco. So here we go. Um, we've got the halberds. Three base. Plus one for charging. Uh, plus one for the banner. So we'll do the halberds first. Hitting on threes, rerolling ones and twos. One miss, but that comes back with d6. Gotcha. The banner man. All right. And then uh, strength six. I know oh, strength, strength uh, five. Yep, because the wardens are for the halberds. So yep. winning on fives. Rerolling because you're a demon. Okay. So it's going to be five, and they have the extra AP, so it's AP three. AP three. Instead well, I fail two. Three. Three. So roll for the damage. You got me. You go. Support is the All right. The three dudes into the berserkers. One, yep. two, three. The, two, the Paragon's over there. Right, plus one. And then we have two of the... One Warding Stave, one Halberd. Okay. So here's the Halberd. And then the Warding Stave. All right, so I'll just do the Paragon first. So it's on twos. No extras. Uh, four. Four? Mm -hmm. uh, these are... This Paragon. is the warning state. Warning save, so AP1. You lose free. Okay, I'll Step resolve one. the halberds next. Rerolling one. So three extras. Three extras. Three extras. Threes. So you're looking at five more. AP1. AP2. AP2. I just do that. Okay. Consolidate onto the objective. be in this, this little look. I'm going to put him up there, but he's basically back there. I got you. And then, nearest model's right there. Yep, oh, right here. Right there? Yep. Okay. Get closer. Something like that? Yep. Totally. Just touch it. And then, let's just make sure he's within two. Yep. Good. All right, so start my turn on my CP, my 10 uh, on the primary. Get to activate him. Yep. So what is, what is over there, by the way? I got two Dark Disciples, and or two Dark Apostles, and the little Dark Disciples. Okay, basically you're going to put them at the center, so okay. it's Heroic Intervention City. Yep. John's favorite place to live. Okay. All right. So... Let's see here what I can do. These cultists are going to advance. And this is probably where I spend my CP. It's a free, so nine inches. Pretty safe to get out there. Get a warp time off. But yep. I need where your heroics are. So it I can be, be the right there. Side. So if I'm right here, I can cut, get it out of it. It should be the entire side. That's what I want. Oh, you're not centered on it though, but I'm sorry. No, like, I just want to block this part off. Okay, so if I'm, like, if I'm like right here, I can get it. Okay. 
Let me oh. see if it's John. Could you just see if it's possible to block off this front half? If it's not, he'll just stay the same. Is, is it possible to block, block the front half? Yes, I'd like to block this half Literally right here. Literally center. Yep. You're recording the base on a point like that. Literally center, you cover the entire thing. Cool. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. So that's. Land. Um, take that. Because that's from the Disco Lord who has. Yep. So they got a So. Yep. So what are you thinking here? Get the warp time up there? Get the warp time. You need to get the right there. Just not get denied. So, nine inches. Really though, he just needs to touch this objective too. So he's just gonna take the risk of that. All I have to do is just get that domination. Yeah. Um, and with that ninth, I should have been able, when I was pre-measuring it, it should have been right at six inches for me to get onto you. So bop. You advance a little longer, right? Yeah. Yep. So nice. 100%. Do, 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 do. Terminator is going to advance. Neat. Neat. Okay. Making sure he still has free. 10 inches. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure that these guys are conged out right. Because because I may be able to get out. No, I can't get out. So I'm not going to worry about that. Checking that. Cool. Get right there. Hold down the objective. Yep. I think we're going to send out real hits. Probably send out this boy. Try and go after the uh, apothecary. The apothecary, but also just like if he can just like tag right here. There's a warden stave, warden stave. He may survive against them. It's not a demon. Um. Yeah. If he if he but survives, it means you're not the, shooting with them. It's basing this so that they. Survive. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's part of it. Yep. That's a great play, Mark. Um. Good there. All right. Make sure that these guys, they're not touching this terrain, therefore they get blocked. Let's go cast warp time. It was off in a seven. Do you want to re-roll that? Because I have... I'm going to be happy with a seven. I'm going to take it, but... You are? It's really because I think the deny for... The den trying to get your spell is just as important because that means you can't shoot here. That's five points for me in the primary. Uh, versus that's three more points, so... Okay, so going for the bigger points. Still going for the bigger points. Okay. Try to deny? Yep. Deny? Ah. Okay. Cool. Vin. I assume prescience. Prescience. Is it in range? You can just go right here. It's 18 inches. Do you wanna, can you move him farther? What's up? I can go a little bit more this way if it's possible. It's right there. Okay. Good. Cool. Good. Press hands on him. Goes off on that. That should have been the whoop time. Oh. Almost. Can I deny you with the uh, that guy? No. No. That's the guy who's <laughs> plus two. <laughs> Why? Or you reversed. Okay. So let me go here. Pop, 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 pop. All right. Charges. Oh, he got a crack grenade. He going for a crack grenade. Is that a pop carry? No. <laughs> he won't charge that a pop carry. He's sad. He on that. He's on, on pop the banner of corn. The banner of corn. The banner of corn. So he gets plus one attack. That's gonna be six attacks. Rerolling hits because of his ability. Um. And then, uh, I want Death to Fall some version of fives. So it looks like two bonus attacks. Real because of his ability. Nope. Back to six. Five wounds. AP one. Five wounds at AP one. Mm -hmm. Let's just take the three ups. I do fail two. How much damage? Uh, it's damage to each. 
So I beat it with one left. Get one left. I'll take it. Then. <laughs> um, is there another blue die there, John? I'll just take the pink one. Okay. Good. Yep. So I'll strike back. It's got four attack space plus one for being charged. Um, not in range of any of the other buffs. Mm -hmm. um, okay, only hits twice because he has a hammer. Twos. Two wounds. Two, Two wounds. He's a flat three. Four pin bones. Makes one. Down the one. That's it for my turn. I get three points of priority. Oh, uh, did not get my domination. That that needed that warp time had to happen there for that. Yeah, I think you uh, re see what would have happened if you rerolled it. I rerolled it from a seven. Oh, you would have still eleven. But it would have been hard to deny it. Yeah. Oh. Um, All right. Oh, just three more points, and that was a f that was actually an eight point I get swing. I get fifteen points. Probably should have done it. He does get fifteen. All right. Can you tell us uh, what the score is looking like? Primary, Mark has 40, and you have 30. Okay, so I'm five points behind. Correct. Yep. That was, this was your last turn. I still have one more turn to get. Yep. And then the secondaries. Um, Mark has how many? Mark has 31 points on primary. On uh, secondary? Secondary. On secondary. On secondary. You should have. currently at 24. What does he have left? Um, domination. Okay, so I need to take him off. Uh, this is the one, correct? That's his priority target. This is one mark. Mm -hmm. Okay, so need to take you off there. I need you to stop stop you from holding more. Okay, so I need to make. Mark still has his one CP, so he's gonna try and deny Astral him. Yep, four up. That's just gonna happen. So I need to just move up here. So Mark, I'm gonna move into here. Okay, good. One good model job. can fit inside. Okay. I do gain a command point, John. Thank you. He's going to be able to do that while staying coherent of everyone. Yes, sir. Because I can bring these guys back around. So come across. Come across. Come across. Come around. Okay. That's all good there. So they're going to have this locked down. Um, see if I get my chaplain chant off. The other one's out of range. Well, okay. Technically, can go on something else, but I don't really need it. Um, yeah, it's not really. I guess if I gate to infinity, let's go ahead and try the extra AP on Draco. No, he doesn't need it. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. Do it on these two terminators in case I gate to infinity, though. No, didn't matter. I'm just gonna pop some reroll hits. Can you fight on death or anything? No. So I can stay there, there. And not have to worry nope. about falling back. Pulse on the wound here. Yeah. Should be able to just do a little smite. Um, yeah, that should be fine. So, 12 inches. You both do your chopping chance? Yeah, yes. I failed both of mine. Moving against the rhino. I got plus on the wound on my whippy boy. 15 minus 2, so it wouldn't make it. So. You have no redeploy or anything, so I'll just move to 13, because why not? So that's all good. Move the characters up. Might as well advance them. Advance the Bannerman and advance Drago. These guys don't need to do anything, so they'll just shuffle onto the objective as well. Those guys are good because they can shoot at the cultists. Um, so yeah, I think that's good. Go into Psychic. Go for the extra yep. extra command point here. Plus two to cast, re-rolling, goes off. Three CP. With, uh, can, you mind if I heal the uh, off Go ahead. We will mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna sleep it. Let's, let's just do uh, Astral Aim. Goes off. Goes off. Nine. Where is it coming from? Okay, so it should be on the gate range or deny range. Yep. Yep. Let me know when the Apothecary does the spell. Yes, sir. So I can deny his or that one over there, probably. I'm uh, not gonna risk. Okay. So, so or over there, I will try to negate. I negated it. Okay. Fair enough. Um, let's go with the chap on there. Mm -hmm. He's gonna smite. Gotcha. Goes off. Uh -huh. And then uh, Drago will go ahead and put Sanctuary. Goes on the Paladins and uh, might as well do minus one to wounds. Doesn't go off. Okay. Okay. Who did the uh, pop figure cast with? Or did he not cast? He did not cast yet. Okay. I don't really want to take a perils on him and somehow lose him. Yeah. So, because he's in the exact spot I need him to be uh, in case I don't finish these guys off. Um, Banner guy, once again, no real reason to risk doing that. Uh, I could get to infinity those two terminators, which, why not? Uh, the two terminators back there. Okay. <sighs> nope. Thank you. Thank no you. perils. Okay. So that's good. I, I don't need any of the other powers. Um, so they're all good over there. Let's go ahead and do some shooting. So. They're gonna open fire into these dudes here. Roger. So I cannot target them until he's dead? Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah, you're good. So we'll go ahead and fire these ones into the cults. Okay, come on into me. <laughs> so, six, 12, 18, Stay stationary. It's uh, not cybolt, so we're gonna have to use these ones. And then I'll do the storm bolter, which remains stationary, so it's bolter discipline. These have no AP? No. Or do you just kill cultists? You kill them all the that. I don't need nothing else. Storm bolter's wasted. Five dudes who can shoot at that man. Uh, no, that can't shoot at that man. Uh, make the charge over here. <laughs> Mark will get five. What you got, bro? Come on now. Okay, none of the other shooting matters, so just make the charge move in there. All right, come on uh, in. If you could just pre measure how much I need. Looks like right at seven, so six. Okay. Uh, so seven inch would include the two dudes. Uh, maybe a little far with them because I'm not base to base. They're over eight. But they're not obsec, so I just have to get more models on there. Yeah. Than them. Can they get you any other points? No. Unless somehow all four of these models survive, I get domination. Or they kill character. That's always helpful. Back there. Uh, Guys, okay. this seven inch. So if you could. Uh, yep. Yep. Shuffle them up for me. Boop. Right. So you can get a solid two dudes just because the terrain's pretty tight. With the uh, pylons? I can only get this one about the check in. That's why I say solid two. Uh, I gotta do your pylons and see what okay. else we can get in. So. so essentially, imagine if they're moving 10. Yeah. It looks like four probably. Currently, I've been within 13 and a half. Looks like the ever dudes are out. Okay, if you could just shuffle them all in up yep. and leave these guys strung back to these yep. two guys. You want to be right there. And on the objective. <laughs> so. Somehow I'm like, movie finals. I'm like, okay, well, there's a big block. Of Basically, he's the one dude. So, I'm going to, uh, I'll put these two on. That okay. should be enough. Okay. So uh, we'll go ahead. So four guys can swing. Okay. Four. Go ahead. Four swings. Uh, let's see. Could, Dro Drogo, could uh, Drago make a YOLO charge? No. no he's definitely Oh, no. He advanced. He advanced. He advanced. He advanced. Okay. okay. He's actually within there. He's actually No, he, he advanced. He advanced. Okay. I saw this was Drago. No, no. 
So uh, there's a halberd, uh, two halberds, and two warding staves. Mm -hmm. For a four pin roll. Yeah, it's all four pin roll. All right, so we'll go ahead and just do them together. So three base, plus one for shock assault each, and then plus one for the banner. 20 attacks. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's good. Rerolling. Yep, yep. So one, two, th five extra attacks, so three more dice, please. Thank you. How many saves? <laughs> okay. Pile them onto the objective and tag those dudes. Yep. It does not matter if I uh, grab this objective because all I need is five more points, which I have of Termite Sorcerer over there. Max up my primary. Burp, 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 burp. Done. Okay, so just want more models on there. Yeah, you have more models. It does, this objective doesn't okay, matter because cool. all I have to do is hold that one and get five, and I max my primary. <laughs> okay. All right, that was bottom five. So now that was top. No, that was up now, now it's going in the bottom of five. I get an SCP. So he gets five points on primary? Yep. I'm going to get three points on my uh, priority. And I'm going to pass. You get turn six, but no longer exists. Good game, Mark. Good game, bro. Oh my god. Crazy close. Crazy close. Crazy close. That four close. of deny was huge. That four of deny. I would have taken that. That warp time was an eight point swing. Yeah, if you if you if I, if I did the reroll and passed it, I think uh, I, I think I maybe won. I'm not sure though. Should be close. I did one by a slight margin. He got while we stand, we fights. So he maxed while we stand. Fifteen for priority targets and while we stand for Mister Secret. Yep. And bring it down, he gets twelve. Yep. And Yeah, so? yeah, that's right. Because so yeah, turn two, I failed yeah. to kill the raptor. Yeah. Yeah. We got two fives, a fifteen. It, just go to the. It's open twice. All right. Um, eighty-one seventy-two. No, no, I think no, it's, it's reloading because that was before you get your wild standing. Yeah, yep. eighty-nine. Six. All right, get the gimbal real fast. Look at me. Now, there's a hug. Hey, I love great you. Great game. Great game. Great game. <gasps> uh, it came down to that four up because I would have yeah. liked him. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I lost when I failed that warp time. Uh, straight up. I just, uh, I needed to get Astralim off to kill him. Yeah, you need well, the Astralim. I tried the Gate of Infinity too and I failed that. Yep, yeah, the Gate um, of Infinity had a chance, but if you made that YOLO charge, like that would have just ended it right there. Because that was eight points in that turn. Yeah. Oh, oh sweaty. We're eating ice cream today. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Dude, I, I love both of our, I think both of our lists are very underrated. Mm -hmm. Yours is like, the rhino uh, phalanx that you use is super good with the paladins. It's very hard to deal with. For my stuff, I'm a CC MSU army list that so can just eat things. These things are not good for me. These mm -hmm. things are a problem. Oh, um, the mission was very much in my favor. If I didn't have priority objectives uh, or a mission primary one that was in my, it was not in my favor, I think yeah. I, I was close. I don't think it was that because like I also didn't have that too many That's easy true. secondary you didn't have any so I don't yeah. think that that mattered. Having a middle de objective definitely mattered. The ones with six on the side, that that's tough for you because I can that's, just sit on my side and, yeah. and not really concern um, about. In that case, you. what happens is I have to put stuff over here, make sure you can't deep strike, and then I have to like look at the closest one to me and just like, all right, here's where I set up my main forces and just torpedo like one every single turn yeah. and try to get over there. Definitely. Oh, um, yeah, I like my list a lot i'm going to end up changing so i've already made changes to this actually all the list for i've done for the war room have already gone through two different versions so hilarious um i like the hildrick a lot in this list yeah probably, i like it because if you take engagement on front something like that it just yep. ensures you can get over there yep. the thing that i'm going to definitely do is i'm adding a 30 man cultist unit to the world leaders because they can do that six inch consolidation heroic they can also get ap1 and the banner gives them plus one attack you so just get, get the full attacks. bodies on there yeah and a high volume of attacks with ap1 what's it to put in reserve um otherwise but in the reserves, it's only, I believe it's only nine power levels, so it's one. For 30 cultists? Yeah. All right. Um, so that's not too bad. Yep. They don't have the honor of the French charge, but they have some cool So basically, spells. instead of doing the berserkers and that. Yeah. So 
I dropped one Berserker. I dropped the Disco Lord. Um, I agree on that. <laughs> I think I pick I up another drop. five man possessed possibly. Uh, it replaces that one five man Berserker that I swap out. Mm -hmm. And the, they just act as another extra stream. And um, yeah. Definitely dropping the Disco. The main reason for him is because of bring it down. That means I don't give, I only give him nine points instead of 12. <laughs> Yeah. 12, 12 isn't too bad, though. Like, that's on the margin yeah, of being okay. Yeah, yeah. 10 to 12, that's not too bad. Because most other, you know, other choices, they're getting probably mm -hmm. pretty similar. Yep. But I think 12 is pretty reasonable. How do you feel about your list? I think it's great. I think uh, Grey Knights play the mission super well. Mm -hmm. um, Which Waking. is hilarious, because in the beginning, we also they didn't play the mission well. I think they played... As soon as we learned it. Honestly. Yeah, like, I couldn't... Because Mark has so many threats everywhere, like, everything is really good in combat, I couldn't play too aggressive. Um, maybe turn one I should have pushed even farther up, but it's the the chance of him just hitting me all at once was yeah, what I was trying to avoid. But like you can you can you can I, hit like one or two units. You're not good at hitting like I think six at one time. If I put them up enough, um, like up here, turn one, which I could have, and did the V, and then I'm right next to the objective. Um, maybe that could have been a bit better. Yeah, just play slightly more aggressively. Um, but I think at the end of the day, I probably end up. Um, dropping the paladins down to the terminator squad like i had been running just go for the more obsec and then i don't really need the, so the extra there's one play that i was surprised you didn't do and uh when i wrapped that first time where i wrapped the rhino wall i was expecting a desperate fall wrap from one of them and gate the infinity ever out of close combat oh uh, i could have you can get, I can them, get it i can get it yeah so like i was kind of expecting to do that was that just not you didn't think about that play i think right it, away? because that was the turn you didn't need to four up astral lane because yeah. i had so many targets yeah. you would have just done it on there that's true now i could have just tried to force it yeah. but i wasn't i didn't want to plan my turn around doing that mm -hmm. um but yeah I, it was i mean it's super close so yeah dude this it could have swung either way if one or two things didn't happen yeah like that was big turn one the terminator yep. surviving yep the um I'm trying to think the uh, denial of astral aim. The denial of astral aim. You, warp time, the failed warp, warp time. Failed my failed charge here. There there's was, a lot of big moments. So. Yeah. Like, like it, that's also one of the things that I see. That's what makes ninth edition really fun. So there's so many little moments more often in ninth edition than eighth edition, where yeah. sometimes your opponent just lost on a strategic level. Yeah. Where it's a lot more tactical in ninth. I think there's eight. less, you know, hey, I'm in the driver's seat already, and you can't do anything. Yeah. Yet. I think. Yeah. I think at the top level. Now maybe at the bottom level, if you're not playing on enough terrain. Yeah. It can happen where those types of... And it's not so much the rule mechanic. I think it's like, other than the secondaries, I like the primary missions a lot because they cause very engaging interactions with you and your opponent. The secondaries are where we're kind of all like... Yeah, I'd fine-tune the secondaries. Yeah, the, fine, <laughs> the secondaries are fine-tune. But the format for the primary is really good. Mm -hmm. It causes a lot of armies that normally can't play the fight you game, but they can play the holding game yeah, and the definitely. mission game. All right, any questions? None so far, uh done so far um they already brought up the uh desperate breakout on the rhino which you already talked about uh not seeing any other questions from the chat right now but uh a lot of mark hype in the chat what? I, the thing is I, I wanted to use those command point i wanted to ensure that i had cybolt each turn because just one play of shooting over there um you know takes that takes that stuff yeah. out and uh, by turn four i was already yep. kind of over there so yep if i did if this was my first draft of world leaders on first two Totally different game. This is like, this is fourth, fifth draft. I'm so happy. I want to play with this more. This is definitely one of my RTT GT list. Yeah. Not to majors, unless like I real feel really confident because I've mastered it to that S level skill. I think I probably drop a one of the chaplains for the third pur uh, purgation squad. Just get extra. Yeah, just extra the, firepower. Those things are so good. Yeah, they're great. Like, they're so just cheap. sit them on the objective. Mm -hmm. um, they act as a screen. They act as a gun. They hold objectives. You you feel if you if hurt, you like, declared them over there hundred percent you would have fired a four up Overwatch and I may have just died yeah uh, and the same reason why I did also just sag them because they're still like Marines in close combat they still have a decent number of attacks I went with the power weapon on a force weapon on the sergeant Dave yeah right. yeah right. any questions a couple more Punk oh. Fox wants to know if there is room for a vortex beast in this list <laughs> if I had a if I had a thousand suns attachment uh -huh. I actually do have a thousand suns world leaders list. That has this core has with a massive with Xanagors. Maybe they can add some vortex beasts. <laughs> All right. Uh, Matrix is talking a little bit of smack, but uh, Siegs has another game tomorrow, so uh, he has a very soon opportunity to bounce right back. Maybe uh, move up the leaderboard again. I did get a really high scoring yeah. loss. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's because it's all differentials. So. It's all about differentials. So mm -hmm. that was a two-point differential. So the tiebreaker 
That's not bad. Or as losses go, that's a good one too. All right. Um, you guys already both talked about changes you would make to the list, so I think that is all we have for today. Uh, what's coming up tomorrow, Mr. Siegler? Tomorrow we got another stream match. It's the back to back to back. This time it is going to be round three. Me playing my Admech versus John Lennon playing his Adeptus Custodes. A little bit of guard allies, but that should be a should be a fun one. Um, you know, I'm excited. Admech is awesome. I love playing Admech. Um, they fit my playstyle super well, so I'm excited to get them on the table. Anyone have any thoughts on today's reveals? Have you guys digested those yet? A lot of Marines. That's a lot of Marines. Ah, that's a lot of Marines. The, I, those Landspeeders look so cool. I'm a Chaos player. I don't feel... The, uh, the Necron stuff looks great. The nec yeah. We're going to just have to see what the rules and yeah. the, especially they, the special rules they are. They didn't get the army special rules or any of like, the, like the vanilla stuff. All we saw were like some cool units. They got a bit. They got some yeah. of the directives. No. Um, they, I want to see what the Silent King actually we does. We saw the Silent King see, has 16, so he hides. I want to see the Void Dragon. So I, I'm, I'm waiting, but I'm pretty you know excited about Necrons. Yep. Um, I think they should be. They, they can't be worse. There's no way they're worse. If they happen to be worse, we're just looking at GW and like, why? A million times what we've done beforehand, the entire internet will whine. I can't imagine. Whine with us. Out of like, you know, a whole slew of new units, yeah. at least a couple are going to be. I'm bad. not a whiner by anyone's means, but when like, there's a faction that, how can you screw this up so much? I just want to look at them and I'm like, I mean, they've been bad for a long time. We've been whining for them a long time. Sad, because I want to play Tyranids too, and I just don't, there's just no reason to. That's all right. my end. One more question from Liger for Mr. Richard. Has Seeks done a Smite then Edict Imperator Tide Change turn yet for the Shooting Buff and Tide Change Dance? I didn't end up needing it, not in this game. I have done it in, in previous games. Yep. Um, but in this one, I didn't really need the... If I had more demon stuff? Yeah, I had the plenty of firepower, so like when I got to shoot with the, you know, the Purgation Squad, yeah. I didn't really need the, uh, yeah. the extra damage there. So I tend to not use Psychic Onslaught too much. I tend to just stick with Cybolt, turn in, turn yeah, out. Yeah, since the fact that just, now you, the smites are capped off, you're not getting like that six to seven of them. You're just looking at like, okay, I get like three or four uh, where I need them. That's, that's the reason I do have Edict Imperator in here, even though I don't use it too often. And the other thing is just getting onto an objective yeah. um, after you shoot. Cool. I think that's it. Ooh, a couple questions right at the end, actually. Okay, so fast. Um, would it have been better to have two Paladin squads? Uh, I just you just can't fit it in, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and only one gets the gets the buffs that you want. I think it's better just to have a couple extra units that could be floating around. You see that you know Grey Knights are an extremely elite army, so um, I would just prefer to have an extra Terminator squad. Then that gets me a whole other squad. Mm -hmm. And if I drop the Chaplain, that's two whole other squads, or I upgrade a Strike squad to a yep. to another. And you Terminator have the characters squad. pretty well find out for this list too. Yeah, like the you've seen the previous Grey Knight games that I played where I go in with the Terminators, they don't do a whole bunch, and it's just hilarious. Oh my god, Grey Knight Terminators don't do any damage. The Paladin Ancient changes that. Yep. The extra attack, the exploding sixes, it's super it's, good. It's like them coming in with so many attacks. As an go, I'm like, what are you, what angels? What are you, world leaders? Uh, and then you have Drago. You always take Drago. The rerolls well, Dra are just the Drago is so strong. Like, just the fact that he's, you have plus one to hit from your Terminator stuff, and the rerolls for close combat shooting, but most importantly, Overwatch. The, um, the reason I went the double chaplain is plus six inch range and extra AP. That's super good into other marine armies, especially the whirlwind scorpions, that type yep. of stuff. It was like tailored. Yep. Could Siegler have command rerolled the gate of infinity to try to snipe the, snor the sorcerer? I could have tried. Um, I, but I was, I basically was. I'm trying to remember how how far was it into your second phase? It was it was after I casted astral aim. Yeah. Um, I think I could have could have because I, I don't think I spent a reroll. I didn't have to spend a reroll that. I could have tried it. And then one final question here from Matrix. On a scale of 1 to 10, how worried is Siegler about tomorrow's matchup since Admech is his best list? I'm going to have fun. I, I like Custodes as well. John's going to cry. So. I'm going to have to hold the, him. The thing is, like, arms. because his rule, like, he, the Terminators, their strat adjusts the characteristic to zero for AP. And then I add plus one. The modifiers are added afterwards. So he's taking three up saves all over the game. Yeah. It's not going to be. I still don't like not gonna be easy. Guys, if you wanna set our GoFundMe for John Lennon's mental self, we can start that up. I already got one win this weekend, I'm good to go. Okay. And John just has a, after a really good win, he just has to keep the game close. Yep. That's, 
don't throw away the game. Now, I would love him to turn one, suicide the captain, get him out of there. <laughs> Come on, John. Put all Take your charges. I'm going to do it. All right. Okay. Mark Perry time. Oh. Hey. Let's go. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Very much appreciated. And we hope to see you tomorrow, which is going to be 1 p.m. Eastern time. And um, it is going to be, once again, me playing Admech versus John Lennon playing Custodius. Thanks so much for hanging out and hope you enjoyed the game. We will see you tomorrow. Bye.